Hello YouTube and welcome to the f second uh, set of potions and lotions where we sell potions and lotions. And this is uh, this is going to be our wonderful group of people who are going to be going through uh, and helping Delric with some um, upcoming things that he needs to get grabbed. So we're going to do some character introductions, so why don't you, Rubles, kick us off? Well hello there, my name is Rubles. Um, I am a half-elf guns, uh, fighter gunslinger, and I am the second Rubles, actually. My father, Ru my father Rubles, actually worked for THE Santa Claus. The bastard never paid him. Tried to pay him in candy canes. Can you believe that? Candy canes! Anyways, I'm here with my father's trusty pistol, trusty revolver, here to, well, do as we're needed. Fantastic. And next we have Min. Hi, I'm uh, Min, Min Yaris Pilwicken. Uh, you, you can call me Min. That's easier for some people. Um, I, I'm, I'm originally from Riverbend. Uh, the, the leader of the Makers Guild was helping me out because I uh, I owe a great debt to this other guild. It's, it's not really important, but... Uh, I want to make a great invention one day, probably some kind of robot that can help me on adventures because now I have adopted the adventuring lifestyle to pay back the guild. So this is definitely a great way to earn some money, get out there, build your fame and fortune, build your robot, get money, pay off your debt. We don't talk about debt. It's fine. Don't worry Excitement. about it. Excitement. <laughs> Excitement. And uh, next we have Maxwell. <clears throat> Maxwell. Maxwell Caulfield's the name. A rich, pompous, but utterly charming Aaron Conqueror man that dresses in fancy suits and would be the last person you'd expect to be a cleric. But I'm not just any of the usual typical clerics, life domain clerics, war clerics, um, pff, posh. A pity that they don't go for more original ideas. No, I have delightfully stepped right into the trickery domain. My devotion to the lovely and chaotic Greek goddess, many people don't know as an elf, not that I think about it, Aphrodite has gifted me the powers to charm those around me and sneak past trouble if fiends get hairy. I once was a noble in the midst of Waterdeep, but I was cast out for converting with a supposedly, uh, a supposedly, uh, Say, some would say evil, but I would say mischievous elf by the name of, you guessed it, Aphrodite. Now many people try to convince me that this isn't the Greek goddess and was just some elven prostitute using the name Aphrodite to get men to pay her ridiculous amounts of gold, but that hardly matters now, does it? Let's get to work. Always, always looking on the positive th side of things. A true cleric. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> and lastly, we have Zephyrus. Hello, my name is Zephyrus Delvin. Um, long story short, my family has historically been in charge of seeing to the protection of a local township. Um, and I am, I suppose, the sire of that bloodline. I'm one of the few in my family who have inherited uh, the magical talent of our ancestors. Uh, essentially, I am supposed to step up at some point and become the new protector of this township, but I, before doing that, would like to get some practical hands-on experience. Well, this is a great way to get some experience. This is a great way to get everything, you know, lined up in your own line of work. Um... Great, so you all are at the Dungeon Delvers Guild, uh, making your way to the job posting, and you see a request, specifically from uh, a partnership that you all would know um, is the guild working with the leader in Oxend. Um, <laughs> the, leader, uh, the leader in the Oxend area, their connections with the Dungeon Delvers Guild is uh, Delric. So Delric has posted this note asking for some adventurers to come and assist him with collecting a specific item that he needs and the, re the recommendation is that you have the ability to be very uh, sneaky and stealthy. 
You all feel like you can pick up this job. You all reach for the same packet. And guess what? Ta-da! Magic team friendship. Actually, probably half of you don't really care. Um, but it's fine, because you all load up onto the wagon and proceed together to Oxend. Oxend is one of the larger cities um, within, within the world. And so weaving your way through your... Uh, passing a bunch of people walking around um, carts carts going the opposite direction of you some going in the same direction there are people on the side shouting trying to convince you to buy their wares and the carriage ends up dropping you off in front of potions and lotions where we sell potions and lotions and the sign out in front has been written in beautiful calligraphy style handwriting and as you go inside you just see rows and rows of just shelves just full of potions each with their own individual label letting you know what kind of potions or lotions they may be and at the end there is a, a high elf sitting behind a counter looking relatively bored poking at um poking at what looks like an egg as if trying to convince it to hatch and what do you do excuse me madam but uh, i noticed a very peculiar lovely looking egg there uh, would you mind uh, if i asked where that egg came from perhaps the high elf kind of looks up to you blinks <laughs> rather rapidly and goes <laughs> uh uh i'm flattered that you think i'm so pretty but i'm actually male so sorry to burst your bubble However, this egg oh, is something. My like... my apologies. I'm new around these parts. I haven't hanged out around humanoids in quite some time. Uh, it, allow me to introduce myself, Maxwell Caulfield. Uh, I hold out my hand to shake uh, shake his. My apologies. <laughs> <laughs> Female DMs. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally fine. It's totally fine. Uh, Delwick will will reach out and take your hand and say, um, "I'm Delwick Nightgale. I'm." A uh, friend of Tacos. Are you from the Dungeon Delvers Guild? Mm -hmm. Yes, quite right. And I believe all of these uh, fine gentlemen are with me as well. He kind of looks past the Aarakocra down to the row of people. Are you all am, from am, the... am I be able to see be seen? Um, is Delric at his desk? I'm just wondering, am I tall enough to be seen over the desk? <laughs> <laughs> How tall Asking are you? Asking important questions. Um, that's a good question, because I, I generally just don't have the knowledge of how tall, uh, anything is, so... I mean, I'm only five foot five. I mean, I'm not, uh, like, freakishly tall like a Goliath. Hey, that's how tall I am in real life. I know, from the... Uh, I totally did that on purpose. It says gnomes are usually three and a half feet tall. Yeah, yep. f like, three to four feet tall is... Typically, what they are, I believe. So I'm just gonna go with that. That good in the middle, three and a half. Well, I'll, I'll step aside to make sure uh, you get seen as well. It's I'm probably... like, oh, apologies. <laughs> it's probably like uh, the the counter is probably like at your nose, so it's just like two eyes and like this crazy blonde hair and this bandana that's like staring up at Delric. Oh, he's just a little bit <laughs> shy. I don't mind him. I'm not shy. I'm short. There's a difference. <laughs> So you just like turning okay, wait, and being no, like, hey. I do. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> these are my lovely companions, and um, may I ask again, what sort of egg do you have there? I have an interest in history around these parts, and can't say I've seen any creatures that lay eggs around here. Oh, this, and he picks up the egg, and it's this beautiful um, uh, white egg with like um soft gray spots on it and he holds it up and he says oh i had some, i had some other people from the dungeon delvers guild uh go and retrieve this for me um it is a giant owl's egg and i intend to hatch it and train it and um take advantage of uh of some of the properties that it does in order to help uh make new potions Wonderful. Um, are you planning on laying this creature hatch, or are you simply using it for ingredients? I, I don't mean the judge, of course. I'm just merely curious. Delbert kind of like chap, taps his chin for a second, leans across the table, points a finger directly at you, and goes, "Both." <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know about you, but I don't want any more details on that story. Uh, <laughs> what? 
Uh, what's I, I'm sorry, out of character for a second. Was this the person that asked for a job? Yes. Okay. Uh, you mentioned something about a job. That's oh yes, yes, yes. yes. Interest gentlemen like us. Yes, 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 yes. Come, 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 come. And he'll uh, he'll th uh, throw up in the back. No. He'll he'll throw up in the the back door. Grab his egg. And despite the fact that he was poking at it at the desk, he he is cradling it very carefully and taking good care of it. And he leads you into the back, which is uh, the display screen that you guys see in front of you. That is his back office. And he comes and sits um, here behind his desk. And uh, behind his chair is a display area. And uh, on it is um, is like a warming, looks like a warming torch um, and a very nicely built nest, nest that uh, he very gingerly puts the egg in. And looks like, despite how he was acting in front, he's actually taking very good care of it. Um, and he proceeds Wonderful to sit down. Setup. He he proceeds to sit down in front of the desk and, and waves for all of you to sit down in the chairs in front of him. Come 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 come. Sit 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 sit. Let me tell you, uh, tell you why you're here. Of course. Uh, would Min need any help getting up on one of these chairs? Uh, it depends on how tall it is. <laughs> We're talking like office chairs, or <laughs> uh, yeah, we're talking like kind of standard-ish office-style chairs. So oh, it man. wouldn't particularly be a struggle, but there might be a bit of hoisting involved. Yeah, I think you could just kind of be like, you know, oof, and kind of jump a little. <laughs> I, I I left up her one, f uh, sorry, his one foot to get up on the chair a little bit easier. Yes, thank and, uh, you. And then take a seat. It's the least I can do. Totally need to craft a step stool when I'm done building my robot. Oh, you have a priorities. Priorities. Mm. Adam, I'm working on it. We can I talk love... about that later. Yeah, of course. I would very much love to listen to that later. But uh, right now, back to you. I'm very interested about this job you have for us. Sounds rather exciting. All right. And what are the other two of you doing? Uh, Zephyrus is just it's sort of walking around the. Uh, shop he has not followed behind yet and is sort of surveying the wares okay rubles rubles um he is pretty silently he hasn't said much yet um and he just kind of takes a seat um and is kind of just polishing his revolver okay and kind of just every once in a while he kind of looks down at it and and reads the name of it and just kind of remembers his father. Uh, oh, oh, watch where you're pointing that. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry, it's not loaded. Well, that's not the part that concerns me. <laughs> so Delric will, will look back from his egg to the three of you, and realizing that a fourth one isn't here, he will uh, get up and hurry out into the open area and say, Sir! Sir, come on! Come on, come, come, come! Very, eager sort. <laughs> very well then well trust me i'll you put down the bottle that i was holding and follow after him trust me you're gonna want to make your purchases after the job is over i make a really good deal for people who work for the dungeon delvers guild that and if i'm not out in the shop for longer than five minutes everything goes into shocking grass mode so i recommend that you don't be out there for very long touching the product when i'm not around come 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 and he'll flag uh, you now, in his office. Are the discounts? Uh, I, I'm assuming I offer. Do I offer here that? Probably. He's, he's not particularly a quiet person. Yeah, not not too subtle. So I'm like, uh, it's not a reward for doing this task, getting discounts on the shop, or is there something more ludicrous involved? Oh, don't be silly. He'll say as he as he waves the. Uh, you're a tiefling, right? I am a Aracakra. Uh, I'm the Zephyrus. tiefling. Zephyrus. Yeah, Zephyrus yes, is the yes, tiefling. Zephyrus yes. is the tiefling. Perfect. Perfect. So as the tiefling gets inside, he shuts the door, he kind of like looks at you and tilts his head. He goes, you have a very pretty skin tone. I don't know if anyone's ever told you that. Looks good on you. I'll turn around and walk back to his desk. Thank you. And now that you mention it, many people have told me that. But I appreciate the compliment nonetheless. Good. Have a seat. Rubles kind of... You see him actually close one of his eyes. He goes, ah, all right. And he opens it back up. So Delric will go around and sit down at his desk. And, he's, uh, and then he'll turn his uh, his attention to Maxwell and say, oh, yes, uh, payment. So 
Anybody who does a job for me from the DDG always gets 25% off of their next purchase here at Potions and Lotions. Whether you purchase a little or you purchase a lot, uh, you get a chance to make a 25% off purchase here at my shop once the job is done. Luckily, everybody's come back to claim that. To claim that. <laughs> but most importantly is that I will also pay you in gold. Ah, fantastic, yes. I didn't mean to sound rude or intrusive, but a discount is uh, not always the best way to persuade someone to do the job, but a payment in kind, on the other hand, sweetens the deal. As a former adventurer myself, I completely understand. I know the importance of it. However, I will tell you, retirement's pretty sweet. <laughs> I'm just glad we're getting paid. Old Saint Nick never paid my father. Oh, I'm busted. sorry, Saint Nick as in Santa Claus? Well, who else? Oh, I, I'm not judging, my my friend. I slept with Aphrodite myself. Anywho, huh. uh, <laughs> tell us about this job. Every every spiritual person gets around in one way or another. I had a fling with the, uh, with the Queen of the Feywild, so I understand. Anyway, this job will require you to be sneaky. And I'm assuming that all of you saw the ad and can be relatively sneaky, right? Of course. Yes, probably. I've I'm been known small, to sneak so... Away. <laughs> <laughs> that equals sneaky, right? I sure, would assume so. Sure. My, assistant, my assistant is a halfling, and I can tell you he is very sneaky and has tried to take a potion or two of my time. Unfortunately, he got caught because shocking grass will... You know, it mitigates sneaking around, doesn't it? A little bit. Well, I have magic that can enhance my compatriots if they should get caught, or we run into a situation where we have no choice but to flee. Good. And then a uh, follow-up question: How? Please raise your hand if you can see in the dark. Do Ericos <sighs> raise their hand? Min raises his hand. Zephyrus raises his hand. Uh, hang on. I do not raise my hand. Okay. So, oh, yeah. Delwert claps his hands together. He goes, great. And how many of you can see in magical darkness? Please raise your hand. Keep my hand down. I was like, well, if I can't see in Min darkness. does not so raise his hand. Zephyrus. Zephyrus. He puts his hand down. Zephyrus just raises an eyebrow and casually raises a hand again. Another mm. gift from my ancestors. Rubles just looks over and cocks an eyebrow, just... You can... Who can see in magical darkness? That's... I've never even heard of that. I've heard of uh, certain individuals being blessed with warlock or magical abilities that grant them... The ability huh. to see magical darkness. It's doable, but I unfortunately am not of that specimen. Yes, the mind. same people who gave me my... Peculiarly uh, acute eyesight were also the ones responsible for these lovely horns growing out of my forehead in my aubergine skin cone. Hmm. Brilliant! Oh, I appreciate your confidence. Brilliant, oh, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And Delwick is just clapping behind his desk. He's so excited, he's like spinning in his chair. Out of character, can you confirm that you do have night vision that can see through magical darkness? Uh, well, as a tief as a as a tiefling, I have devil sight, which is uh, which cuts through magical darkness. Do they get devil sight off the bat? Tieflings do. Uh, yeah. If you are a warlock, there, there is a variant. Yes. Is there a variant that gives you that? Tiefling. Oh shit! Sorry, I've got just regular dark vision. I thought that devil sight was uh, an inherent racial trait for all tieflings. No, nope. no it should be, for but some. it's not. That would be cool. <laughs> Unfortunately. Dread. Yeah. Well, this game could have gotten oh, a lot man. easier for you guys if he had that, but unfortunately it's not. So we will retcon that you said that because your character would know if you could see through magical dark. That I, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, so so Delric uh, reaches down and pulls a um, pulls what looks like a small, um, almost like a duffel bag, and sets it sets it on the table. He goes, okay. So where I'm <laughs> sending you is a cave that has darkness in it. So in here are four torches. Um, these torches are magically imbued to be able to light uh, and illuminate light through magical darkness. 
here's why that's important. That cave is full of magical darkness. So, you're going to need to use these torches to get through the cave. I went through there briefly. <laughs> he looks really uncomfortable as he's trying to explain this. He's like, I went through there briefly. And I will not be going back in there again. Uh, my adventurous days are long behind me. And I need other adventurers to do that for me. Now, there, it is very important that you use these sparingly. Because I don't have very many of them. That's why I only have four. Um, and we should be careful about how we use them. Given that this is a mission of subterfuge. How does that come into play? Here's the good thing. The good thing is that it seems like everything that's in there is blind. Here's the bad thing. There's a lot of things in there. And they have blind sense, by my guess. Mm. Or at least they That's would likely. adapt. I almost, I almost tripped over something, and it didn't seem none the where uh, it didn't seem none the wiser that I was there. Well, it was just one creature, though. With all due respect, there could be many other creatures that have been down there for so long that they could adapt a sort of blind sense. Well, <coughs> but it gave me now. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I recommend that you be super sneaky, because that's how that works, right? And he kind of gives you a big smile. <laughs> you did mention. I mean, you did mention subterfuge. I'd be a little bit disappointed if it was just a walk in the park. Oh yes. So the, so just be careful with these. Um. I am going to let you borrow this, and uh, it is essentially a, a bag of holding. And he'll push it to the um, he'll push it to the edge of his desk, and you just see like potions and stuff like that clank, clank, clatter, 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 clank, clank all over his desk as he's like pushing the bag towards you guys, not giving two shits about what he's pushing around on the desk. Um, and he says, "I do want this back, and if you guys don't use all the torches, I will need those back as well." Of course. Uh, one more question. Have you happened to get a look at any of these strange creatures? Perhaps you could enlighten us with what they look like. Gotta look at one. Uh, and? It was really gross. Anything else besides the fact that it was really gross? I did not stick around to ask. Must have been a zombie That's reindeer. All I to know. <laughs> <laughs> A zombie reindeer have... would not be blind. <laughs> Let's not be oh, no, 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 ridiculous they... here. No, 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 they can't see in darkness. You see, my father, he fought one uh, when there was somebody impersonated Mrs. Claus. I don't know. The party called it Thoughty Claus. I don't know. It was really weird. But yeah, no, no, no. I I've heard of the zombie reindeer. They are pretty gross, so it must have been one of those. I really need to hang out with you all more often. So... Is there anything else we should know before being on our way? Um, not really. You have four torches. Use them sparingly. What are we looking for? <laughs> should oh, have cut to the chase. That's, I? Yeah, that's important. So what you're looking for is you're looking for a glowing flower. A glowing flower? Uh, what glowing. color? Just in case there's multiple glowing flowers down below. It should, the flower itself should be pink, but it glows white. A white glowing flower, then. Understood. A pink, um, a pink flower that glows uh, white. white. Just so you don't very get the wrong one. But thank you. M Mr. Delric. Yes. You wouldn't happen to have an eye patch, would you? Uh, do you have intention on losing an eye at some point? Uh I'm sorry, I thought we were supposed to see down below. No, alright, I have a... My left eye, it was poked out by Dancer when I was young. Listen, it, it's been magically reattached and it's called my dead eye. When it's open, I can't see color. So, if you could... If you have a eye patch, that way I don't have to sit there and remember to keep my eye closed the entire time. I'm pretty used to grayscale. <laughs> you certainly aren't subtle about your history, aren't you, my friend? Well, why would I be? He, just so you guys know, he has no clue that he has a really odd backstory. Like, he has <laughs> no clue. Oh, yeah, he it's, thinks it's, it's normal. perfectly normal to him. It's the same with my character. Um, yeah. I'm trying to adding in the, like, Santa zombie reindeer. <laughs> I, I don't know if I believe this guy. 
Oh, of course, <laughs> I, I believe him. I mean, I've been through plenty of strange stories myself, and nobody believed me then, so <laughs> I'd hate to be put on the same pedestal as you, my friend. That being said, um, thank you very much for your time, sir, and we really should be going. Yes. Uh, out of game, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that you that you guys need to know. Um, what, oh, yes. Um, would Delric give? Hmm? Does Delric, Delric have an eye patch on him? He will. He will uh, rip off a piece of his clothing and offer it to you to use as a wrap. <laughs> he looks like uh, a, uh, better than nothing. Thank you. And he'll tie it off. And... Oh, it, it I, smells... I brought a quaint solution. Uh, those glutes are looking mighty fine, but uh, you really don't need to do that in front of us. <laughs> It it has a very uh, it has a very soft, um, kind of uh, uh, forest fire scent to it. Huh, interesting. Yes. Forest fire. So uh, can what, I say? Sorry, go on. One of the other things that he would tell you is he would just make it abundantly clear that he he wants the whole plant with roots. And inside the bag of holding is a is a container that you guys can put the whole plant with its roots still intact inside. Is there also a um, shovel? Nope. Hey, um, you wouldn't happen to have a spade or anything, would you? He, he's like in the process of handing the bag to uh, to Zephyrus, and he stops and he turns and he looks at you and he goes, "I work at potions and lotions. I don't garden." I should probably start gardening, though. Good idea, but no. <laughs> uh, I have a shovel, if you need you it. You do? Came, came with my uh, recent explorer's pack, after all. Uh, a lovely oh, little survival <laughs> kit this strange little gnome gave me. Was it gnome or halfling? Sorry. I, I don't strange know. Strange little gnome? Uh, I... <laughs> no, I, I said a strange little gnome, not you. Not all gnomes are strange looking. This guy was just... Kind of funny looking, and may have, or may not have been a backstreet drug dealer, but that's beside the point. So he's um, going to you pass... have an interesting life story too, Bert. <laughs> he will pass. <laughs> he will pass the bag to Zephyrus and kind of Thank lean you, down and, gnome. And, and lean down and whisper. He like keep keep an eye on the bird. I think he might cause you guys a bit of trouble and being sneaky. Really, you don't say. Yeah, just just kind of a observation <laughs> just just getting it out of my system i promise to be as silent as a mouse once our objective falls upon each and every one of us also mm. i am terrible at interrupting guys i apologize for that please let me know if i'm talking too much all right it's all good so with that uh delric will lead you guys to the front to the back of his shop and in the back is a um is a teleportation circle it's it's uh, green and gold in, in design and kind of shimmering like it's been activated. He's like, all right, I can get you there. You guys will just follow the path back, but let me save you a little bit of time. Um, everybody step on the teleportation circle. Rubles um, walks forward and stands. Uh, just to be clear, this teleportation oh. circle won't have a chance to vaporize us on the way over, will it? Hasn't done it to anyone since. I, I tweaked the spell a little bit, it's fine. Well, works for me, just never been on one of these before. And I very <laughs> eagerly fly over and land on the teleportation circle. Okay. Rubles all of a sudden looks a little uncomfortable, like, um, <laughs> excuse me? <laughs> no, she said she tested it and it was fine. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I put the thought into his head. <sighs> Tempest, please help us. He kind of looks up. <laughs> Min, are you joining them on the circle? Yes, but he would be very excited about it. Ask Delric, like, did, did you make this? How does it work exactly? Can I take it apart later? I'll put it back together, I swear. You know what? We'll talk about it if you get back. And then he'll look at Zephyrus and be like, are you ready to go? Well, on one hand, it might vaporize me. And on the other hand, it might take me away to a potentially dangerous quest. I suppose that both are equally attractive options at this point. I'll step <laughs> over the threshold. 
brilliant. So as you guys uh, step over the threshold, uh, you see uh, Delric holds out his hand and his palm starts to glow in that gra matching green gold and you all disappear in a flash of green and gold light. Before we move on to the next map, I need to know, as you guys arrive, how many torches are you lighting? Uh, how many are in the packs? Four. There's four in total. So one for each of us. Essentially. But, 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 but you only yes, have we were invited four. To use them sparingly. Mm -hmm. so, I vote we light one at a time yeah. until they're used up. Well, Indeed. the first question I want to ask is who should lead? Because they should probably be the one holding the torch. Who's the tallest? Not that me. That would probably be me. <laughs> How tall are you? I'm six foot one. Yep. Yep, you're you're two five inches taller five. than me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm five foot eleven. Hey, hey that's so, my height. <laughs> I'm like IRL, I'm like five foot nine and a half on the five foot ten side. I don't know if I'll hit five foot ten, but like I'm close to it. You're five foot ten on a good day. Yeah. So in that case, uh, Zephyrus should probably be the one to light uh, one of the magical torches once we get in there. And we should be very careful and very quiet. And I have a certain spell that can allow us to more easily be unseen, just in case any of these creatures have the blind sense. So you guys are for sure only lighting a single torch? At the moment. At the uh, unless moment, anyone yes. disagrees. Yeah. Sounds like it. <laughs> okay. I think that's the best idea. Alrighty. Um, before, um, <laughs> no, wait, no, we're teleporting. Never mind. Fuck it. <laughs> yep, you guys, you guys will be teleporting. I am moving your icons over right now. Excellent. Oh, I guess I don't need Twitch chat open anymore. Okay, no, no. here we go. <laughs> Oh, but I can actually move stuff around you are, for once. You are, how do I, how do I ping you guys? There was like a way that you could do it and I don't remember how. Shift. Shift? Shift and then ping. Yep. Shift, ping. Uh, you can also just hold Aha. left click. That's how I do it. No, Avi, if you shift ping, it'll move everyone there. Yeah, oh. shift ping. If you just okay. ping. So you all should have dropped yeah, but... to where your icons are. Alrighty. Yeah. But I believe that's only DM can do that. Oh, dynamic lighting. Nice. Well yes. Done. So as you guys, you guys do appear from the outside of the cave. You choose to light a single torch, which is currently on Zephyr's icon. Zephyr, uh, everybody has control of the torch, but it's sitting on Zephyr right now. So Zephyr, if you basically highlight your character, you'll also highlight the torch. So as you're moving, you'll move with uh, holding the torch as well. So that's kind of the easiest way to keep the torch with you. Uh, if you want, sir, dra drag uh, from. Hold on, put your character back on. Dra um, here, drag from just below your character and then up past your character. Let go, and then you'll be able to move both at the same time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just like that. There you so, go. So that's going to be your guys' easiest way to do it. If you're going to light another torch, let me know, and I will copy and paste this new torch. But for now, this is the only light source that you guys have uh, within the cave. Because you know, I is almost shrouded in magical darkness. Ooh. I almost made Rubble's um, uh, Ivor's race, which has naturally ten feet of blind sight. I almost did that, and I wish I would have so bad now. <laughs> My, and it's even darker than they made it seem. Spoopy, spoopy music all aboard for those. Nice. Spooky. Uh, a, after we arrive, I will hold my symbol of Aphrodite, which is basically like a stone heart that like your kid would carve out for a public for a public school gift to your dad. And I hold it tightly, and this purple energy kind of emanates from my hand and passes to each and every one of you, and surrounds your boots with per uh, with a nice pink or purple energy. And basically, every time you step, it, it's like you're walking around in socks you can't hear a thing and i cast pass without trace on the party brilliant Ooh. and how long does that I'm last gonna... that lasts an hour great 
Is there anything else you guys would like to do before you fully enter the cave? We'll say that this is the outside of the cave. Um, no. 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 I don't believe there's any other preparations that have to be made. Zephyrus? DM, this is me. This is me testing something, just so you know. Okay. This is not an actual roll. Um, I just want to see what it looks like. Ah, darn. Okay, don't worry about it. I was trying to get my pass without trace modifier, and I was hoping that it was like a different slot, but it's not. Mm. So I just have to be mindful of whether I have that box checked or not. Gotcha. All right. Um, if there is any time that you guys, I will be asking for you to do stealth checks at uh at random points but if there's any time that you want to try to seek more information feel free to request to roll an investigation or a perception check and i will be more than happy to give you information as you go um so yeah you are in the cave go find the plant uh can i make yeah, a perception great. check right now just to see if there's anything peculiar or strange immediately in our surroundings perhaps something watching us yeah Roll I know that's kind of broad, check. but that's a 12. That is a 12. Um, there's nothing that really you can see or try to sense within this area. You you feel like you're okay. I mean, it's the entrance to the cave. It's bright outside. If they don't particularly respond to light, they probably wouldn't, uh, wouldn't venture so close to the cave. Well, the cave I entrance. suppose the only way forwards is... Forwards. I really don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> and as you guys let's, all go forward, oops, sorry. Let's just agree amongst the four of us that nobody's going to try anything particularly stupid and run <laughs> off into the dark, because I'll have it known at the outset that if one of you decides to go esperado, I'm not going to go trailing after you. <laughs> That's so is it just? Is it That's just a very me? Rare, well, but unsettling sediment. <laughs> is it just me, or is everyone else imagining Zephyrus as like the tiefling version of Alan Rickman? I'm not going to stay and say that stupid line. <laughs> totally what I'm imagining. I, I don't know if that's a natural voice I or what. <laughs> Turn to page 364. And no, it's 394. Oh my god. <laughs> you kind of look like him, too. <laughs> Man, I'm I'm feeling my age now. Fucking hell. I really don't know who the hell that is. It's what? Severus it's Snape. Pro from... It's Professor Snape. Professor Snape? A uh, galaxy Snape quest? <laughs> Come on, oh, Professor Snape. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking you guys were talking to somebody else. I'm like... Jeez, me only being 18 shows. Hell. <laughs> I mean, I'm only right. 24. And <laughs> go on. Cheerio. So we are in agreement that we move as a as a group, and nobody's going to do anything stupid. Wholeheartedly, more so because I'm afraid of what you do when you I turn my back onto you and I let out a fake smile. <laughs> I. I... Deadpan, do not smile back and just turn around and, and start walking. You don't walking. attempt a really creepy Mandy smile? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you guys are walking, why don't you all roll me a group stealth check? And you guys do plus have plus 10. 10. Squee! Through whatever you roll. And Rubles, what are you doing? Hell um, yeah. Rubles is kind of taking a second and he <laughs> looks down at his gun and goes, <sighs> and he <laughs> puts it in its holster. <laughs> He kind of takes a second. No, it just... I don't know why it pulled me oh, with a... Uh, disadvantage? It, it, disadvantage, yeah. I don't know why it did that. Well, um, just take the one to the left. Do you have... Um, uh, do you have you heavy armor on? on? Yes, I do have heavy armor heavy, on. Heavy armor makes you roll a disadvantage. What oh, I'm, no. What I'm gonna do... I, if it's too late, let me know, but... I'm going to snap my fingers and like she is just covered in this purple energy now where eyes are just covered in purple. Blessing of the Trickster gives you advantage on stealth rolls for the next hour. So that should cancel nice. out the disadvantage, but if it's too late, let me know. It but is, I'll cast it anyways. It is too late for this roll. Um, but, yeah, I, I noticed that she's kind of having a bit of a hard time. Yeah. 
And I just say, oh, all right, just hold still, and I cast Blessing of the Trickster but on her, with, which is a cleric ability, not a spell. With two 30s in the group, I am pretty yeah, sure pretty whatever awesome. noise you made, like, you stepped, yeah. uh, like, you ste you were going to go step on something, and both of them were just like, ah, no, like. <laughs> <laughs> you almost put it short sword so that, so that the butt of it, your foot hit the butt of it first, and he gently let your foot down and then resheathed it. I mean, I forgot to add ten to that, so that's tw thirty twenty, anyways. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. I have I have a thirty for mine. <laughs> I rolled pretty well. Nice. Alrighty. Oh, what so lies ahead? You guys feel like you are fairly sneaky. It's quiet as the wind. You may proceed. I'm so sneaky. I'm so sneaky. Oh God! Come on now, oh, God, you, one. little one. <laughs> little one, come on. <laughs> you will literally be left in the dark if you don't keep up with this light. <laughs> That is Keep horrifying. R Rubles is gonna take up the back. Uh, slow down, would you? Okay, maybe not that far back, but <laughs> still. <laughs> he takes two up and keeps an eye on her little. A little behind because I... he's he's small. He got short legs. <laughs> and, and the thing is, like, I could fly, but uh, that probably wouldn't sound as sneaky if I did. <laughs> how much? How much does uh, Min weigh? Um, around like forty pounds. Oh, Ru <laughs> if that's the case, Rubles would just put you on his shoulders. <laughs> okay. Yes. Come on now. <laughs> oh, right. Yes, he's just like I am tall. Uh, in yeah. that case, um, would and, and if that's the case, would Min have to keep making stealth checks if he's just on oh, Rubles' wait. back? No, but every now and then Rubles will have to make a uh, strength oh, saving throw. Hold up. Hold up. That's right. Why? He's 40 pounds. I need, I need he's 40 pounds, okay, but he's also in heavy armor. <laughs> yes, I was about to say thank you, Mackenzie. I was about to say I rescind that statement because my armor weighs 55 right. pounds. So I weigh Never 95 mind. pounds. Never mind. All right. Never mind. I have a minus one to strength. Never I cannot mind. carry them. <laughs> I'm definitely walking. Yeah, I, I was thinking of moving the Blessing of the Trickster, but I think I'll pass on that. <laughs> It's just no sound for miles. I have to wonder how long these creatures were stuck here. Will you be quiet? So we're going to say that obviously yeah. as you guys are going through this, you're whispering um, every now and then. If you guys get excited or something like that, I will make you roll a stealth check. Or you can roll if you feel like somebody's being loud and you think I might call it. You're more than welcome to state I would like to roll a dexterity saving throw to shut them up. Because I feel like that's them? fair. Not slap them, but right. you're like covering their mouth. Like if uh, if Ruble stepped on a sharp rock and he was about to let out a scream of pain, like Zephyrus could be like, oh shit, and like cover his mouth with a dexterity fair saving throw. Um, yeah, I'm going to have Ruble's actually, he's going to pull out a little thing of toothpicks. And this is what I do for all gunslingers now. And he uh, slides it open and takes the toothpick and puts it in his mouth. And this okay. is kind of for it's his way of focusing on it so that if he were to yell out or something like that he can focus on that what kind of container do you up. store the toothpicks in um basically what i have irl it's a small metal tin with felt on the inside roll me, and it has a slide on it roll me and a it's, sleight of hand check because you are using a metal device and you are sliding it open and closed let's <laughs> see how quiet you can be doing that this is a very quiet game. Uh, Natural one. Oh no. Guys, it's loud. Hey, why don't you? That's not my not fault. Safe. That's not my fault. It's okay. That's a natural thing. It's not the same. Okay. So you it, guys it, are. It is also. It is like I said. It is felt lined. The entirety of the metal that touches is all felt lined. So your slider is felt lined. It can move. Yes. On felt. Everything on it is. Yes, felt's actually pretty easy to move because this one that I have IRL is. I'm not sure the if the I would buy that, that, that you is... would find something like that in this world. The only thing that clicks is uh, when it locks, but that even I can do that. I so it hear, makes the I tiniest noise. <laughs> I still heard yeah, that. Yeah, but that's, that's also because my microphone is all the way up. This is also if a I do that. dead silent cave. Okay, fair enough. Yep. Sorry, I'm just playing dev devil's advocate. Like, it is all felt. <laughs> like, yep. But if I can hear you click through your mic, I think that they could hear it in a dead, in a nearly dead silent cavern. 
That's right. I forgot this is dead silent. I'm sorry. Yep. The the sound is just for ambiance. I'm not going to have you guys walk around in dead silence. You guys who's played my games before know that I don't like dead silence in my games. So, besides, this gives it a spoopy feel, as Devin pointed out. So, yeah, it he clicks it close, and you guys hear the click, the click echoes, click, 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 click throughout the cave. And as that sound echoes, I want everybody to roll me a perception check. I want to make an investigation. All right. What are you investigating? Um, just... I guess what I can see in front of me, maybe see if there's a, uh, something kind of trying to creep up on us. Okay. So, tracks? Uh, that, yes. Something like that. Okay. Uh, perfect. So, uh, Zephyrus and Rubles, you don't notice too much anything except for is holding on to the torch and like freezes as soon as he hears the click going and is keeping a very diligent eye out slowly moving the flame back and forth to try to give the area just a little bit more light to see if anything wanders in uh maxwell from where you are you don't per se hear something coming towards you but you do make out the faintest of noise heading north um and, uh, is, is it coming towards us or heading away from us? It seems stagnant. There is some noise, very faint. You broke a tw you broke twenty in total, so I'm giving you that. Um, it's a very faint Sorry. noise, but it it sounds like it's staying put. Uh, Min, as you're looking down on the ground, you you don't see too many tracks from where you are but you glance kind of past, uh, like through Zephyrus' legs and going forward, and you notice that there are a lot of tracks and they're coming from both directions, both <laughs> north and east. There's something up there. I just whispered to the party, holding north. Jax, he just points to the ground. Zephyrus sort of closes his eyes and pinches the skin between his eyebrows. And uh, with a flourish of his hand that isn't holding the, the torch, uh, I'll cast uh, Thaumaturgy and use it to whisper to each of the party members, I don't think that making excessive noise at the present moment is in our best interest. You're using no, Thaumaturgy? Noise. <laughs> that one word! Yeah, using Thaumaturgy. So Thaumaturgy amplifies your voice to be heard for over 300 feet. Uh, you can't. Uh, you can, or you can That's use it to create. Yeah. You can use it to create whispers. Really? Yep. Mm -hmm. You create an instantaneous sound that originates from a point of your choice within a range, such as a rumble of thunder, the cry of a raven, or ominous whispers. And since I can also use it to magnify my voice, uh, that I suppose could be up to you. But my interpretation would be that you could also use it to make your voice a whisper. Magnifying an ominous whisper. Well, magnifying is one of the things you can do, or you can make an ominous whisper. But um, I, I, I interpreted that as being able to use it to whisper to people around you. But if that's not the case, then I can use message, which has the same effect. Let's go with message. I feel like message kind of fits the environment better than thaumaturgy. Okay, then yes. Uh, that, and actually, it fits his mood better too because he's trying to be very quiet. <laughs> so instead of instead of whispering, I'll just very pointedly poke my finger at all three of the others and basically <laughs> shut your fucking mouths. <laughs> I, I'm very I very tempted to whisper. I was only whispering, but I keep it to myself and just. A, a, a snarl at him, previous. but also let out a fake smile and pretend like I'm not panicking in this environment I'm not used to at all. I stand by my previous whisper statement of pointing out the fact that prior to this statement, I only said one word. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. So moving on, you are at. I, 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 I just gesture, like waving my hands, like don't bother. It's not gonna work. <laughs> I've been down that road. <laughs> <laughs> and I just point ahead in that case I, I do like uh, uh, the one symbol like trying to do like very shitty sign language and I do like 
footsteps on my hand to show that it's like moving around. Okay. So you guys are at you guys are at an impasse. You've been report you've gotten a report that there are uh, noises upwards towards the north, and there are tracks on the ground, both coming from the north and the east. What would you like to do? Uh, I'm gonna look at Minyaris and put two hands behind my uh, my back and say, left or right? Left. I'll pull out my left hand and uh, it is pointed towards the uh, the northern passage. And I say, well, unless there are any disagreements. I, I hold up my left onward. hand and I nod. Spectacular. Let us continue. Right. I'm having trouble picking up the torch. Is it stuck behind? It's stuck behind you. That's why. Hold yeah. on. Let me stay there for a second. Don't move. Okay. Ah, roll twenty. There we go. <clears throat> now you should be able to grab it and go. Mm, now it's just grabbing the torch. <laughs> Oh, did you drag from below and then all the way there to we go. the top? I did. And now then it's a tiny torch. Now Have you work. become now, one with the torch? I can I can sort of finagle it up there. It'll just kind of move with me, I guess. Like there, that's fine. Hold on, let me try to let me try to move it behind you again. Eh, one more. Here, yeah. <laughs> There, now it's behind you. See if you can highlight both and then move that way. Because you had it before. Did have it before. That's okay, I'll just move it uh, in in bits and pieces as I move. Okay. So this cave feels... Um, it doesn't... It, nothing on the ground would indicate that it's wet, but the air feels kind of damp. The further that you get into the cave, it definitely gets that you can feel the temperature change. It's definitely getting colder as you go. I, I start shivering, and uh, you can see feathers uh, begin to fall out. <laughs> All the feathers. Yeah, I, I try to not avoid shivering, but I can't really help it. <laughs> it just looks like I'm trying to hold in a poop the entire time. Or add another split. Do you go? Can west? I make another perception check to see if there's any noises coming from either direction? Sure. I would also like to investigate. Alrighty. Anybody who would like is more than welcome to make a perception check. Since you are doing investigation, what are you looking for? Uh, more tracks. More tracks. Great. Oh, that's a five. <laughs> Whoops. Wow! Oh, hell is, yeah! That's how we like, do Alan Rickman it. showing me off. Right. <laughs> Great. All right. So, um, Maxwell, you're too focused on how cold you are. That's that's the, that's your priority right now. You're like, this is getting cold. My feathers. I, I, I'm this. just thinking to myself. I hate this place. I hate this place. I wish I was home back in Martyr Deep. <laughs> Servants giving me grapes and everything. Yep. All mm -hmm. that. All that stuff. Uh. Wow, lots of twenties. This is amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna start with uh, I'm gonna start with Min. Min, as you you're you kind of know what you're looking for now, and you're looking down on the ground, um, and kind of trying to piece together. Okay, what what could be here? What could be in this cave? To your left, you see um, a giant indentation that has three uh, looks like what would what would be three toes. Um, and with the with the 21 that you got, um, I would say it definitely looks like there is um, there's nails attached to the three toes that you're seeing. To your right, there is a giant footprint. So that's your information. Uh, a giant Rubles, foot. A giant footprint. Like, 
not, not okay. I was about to say a foot, not a footprint. Yes. That giant foot, foot just cut one, off and one lone foot <laughs> shucked on the ground. Stands up, waves a big toe at you, and then leaves into the darkness. I'm, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> so, so uh, Rubles, with your with your perception, you're able to hear um, you're able to hear things from the west. It's a, it's a soft noise. Um, breathing. Uh, yawning, snoring. It's kind of hard to tell, but there is uh, there's definitely some form of breathing that's happening up north. Uh, Zephyrus, with your natural twenty, you hear the same thing that Rufus does, but in addition to that, you hear what sounds like jingling or clanging. In comparison, PTSD. in comparison to the two, um, and then. And then you're also hearing very, very faint noises from the right. The left is definitely louder. With your natural 20, you can discern that. So whatever to the left is closer. Um, and to the right is further away. All right. Well, whatever whatever we're going to bump into one way or the other, it appears if we go left, we're going to bump into it sooner rather than later. And if we go to the right, it'll be later rather than sooner. Are we ready to take on whatever might be to the left if we decide to go that way? Rubles draws his short sword and just smiles. I hold up my right hand, but then put it down and very hesitantly, like, roll my eyes and shakily hold up my left wing. <laughs> And Min you. shall just show you his thunder gauntlets and wiggle his fingers. Oh my god. Spectacular. Then we're in agreement that we go left. Is All that right. the consensus? I nod. Left Indeed. it is. And, that, and as soon as he turns his back, I do the um, fist up your ass motion with my <laughs> right hand. And I keep walking. Alright, everybody roll me a stealth check. Please, Aaron Jesus, take the wheel. Remember that plus two. Um, That's a thirty-four hey. for me. That's a thirty-one. <laughs> the twenty-four for me. And then we have a twenty-eight for for Min. Perfect. So you guys are very, very quiet as you're making it, as you're making yourself um, through this cave and around the corner. You. Wait, no, I, I should be further back. Oh, God, yeah. we ran into each other. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry, it's so dark in here. <laughs> As you guys get to about here, you hear what Zephyrus was able to hear, but it's more noticeable now. It sounds like snoring. Oops. And it's big. The closer you get, the louder it gets. The jingling also responds too. Clang, 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 clink, 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 clank, clank, clank. As things seem to be shifting and moving. As you slowly start to illuminate the darkness in the cavern before you. I will note. Ru oh, God. Rubles uh, does have his shield up right now. Immediately, like, slowly back up and for a moment think about running away but try to stop myself. Zephyrus is going to, uh, once again, to each of the party members, sort of jab a finger in their direction uh, and using message, just communicate. Everybody make a fucking sound. I shake my head very enthusiastically. <laughs> Rubles, um, as silent as he can, he walks up to here, and he puts his body not to the wall, but right next to it. And so he's basically going to use the wall and maneuver around. Great. Since you walked into this area, please roll me another stealth check. 
All, all of us or just him? 26. Just him. That'll be a 26 for me. Okay. So as you're, as you're moving along the wall, you take a couple steps inside just on the barrier of the light, seeing this giant dragon head that is at least three times your body size. And the dragon shifts on the pile of gold. And you hear the clinging and rustling of the gold underneath it as it sleeps on its hoard and it turns its head over and leans back at you. Its eyes are shut. Its tongue is out. It is sleeping. But it is definitely moving. Um, what, what I, it's a little bit hard to see from this angle. Is this a gold dragon or is it a white dragon? It is a white dragon. So I'm going into the darkness here, and I know this, and I'm kind of doing this on purpose. Rubles is going to... Jeez, I lost my token for half a second. He's going to come up to here and kind of stay on that wall and just not move and just observe. His head's kind of poking out in the light from the torch. He's just kind of watching and seeing what happens. Okay. And he's not going any further because he can't see. And he's waiting for the others to move. <sighs> um, yeah, Zephyrus is going to uh, do his party-wide message uh, cantrip. And just say, I say, fuck this flower and we go the other way. Slowly comes so, back. You guys can all respond to message to I'm, him I'm, inside I'm, your head. I'm just looking for a, a nod or a shake of the head. Rubles gives a slight thumbs up, and he does not. He doesn't touch a thing. <laughs> all right. Would you guys like to continue in where you are, or would you like to go back? I give a thumbs down. You want to stay there? I, I, I give a thumbs down, noticing that everyone's walking away. I'm just it, silently, like, kind of like Woody, just like throwing up his arms in anger, and I start heading back. Uh, I reply to the message saying, um, you know, if we don't find a flower, then coming here would be entirely purpose. And I'd hate for this trip to be a waste of time. And uh, just in the most flippant manner possible, I'm going to point my finger again at him and say, and I would hate it if the last 25 years of my life were a waste of time. And I'm going to keep going. <laughs> I, I just uh, <laughs> muttered to myself very quietly, by the sounds of it, they already were. And then I smile, and I just, like, very sarcastically, <laughs> happily, just head in the other direction. Are you really gonna argue with the guy who's carrying the torch? <laughs> I got my own torch. And, <laughs> and the guy who's got the, the thaumaturgy, which uh, uh, can make that thing definitely wake up. <laughs> I have a gun. Okay, well, I guarantee I can wake it up. For clarification, for clarification for all of you, I mean, that Zephyrus has... You into the mess. For clarification for all of you, Zephyrus has the bag that has the other three torches in it. You guys did not take them out. So. Good. <laughs> so don't piss him off. Got it. Well, I'm I, just being the character. Either, either that, or you guys can state that you took them out of the bag of holding, but I was under the impression that you guys did not. So no, just one it, came out that, of the bag of holding. This is, this is more fun roleplay-wise. We'll let them keep the torches. Yes. Okay. All right. So, DM, are we far enough away now that talking amongst ourselves would not likely wake up the dragon? Yeah. You guys okay. would be able to so, kind of gather that because you didn't have to start being sneaky until a little whisper. closer. So, uh, yeah, now that we've kind of stepped away, um, Zephyrus will just say, uh, 
Well, obviously, I don't think any of us are planning on fighting a dragon over this little fetch quest, if you will. But of course I not. say, I say, we give it a try going the other direction, and if there's nothing over here, then we go back to the first choice we made, and we go the other direction. We agree. Well, the less time we spend here, the better, but if you insist. It depends on what the rest of our luxurious party members think, of course. What could be worse Ru than a dragon? Rubles is, hasn't said a thing. He's just silent, and uh, he sheaths his short sword, and um, he is going to kind of take the cloth off of his eye. Uh, he's not worried about seeing in Grayscale right now. Uh, he's now back to, I need to be able to see with everything I have. Untells <laughs> <laughs> it. All right, let's continue to sneak ahead. It's like something of odd world. <laughs> the music. So you guys come to another split, and I want you all to roll me perception checks again. You got it. I don't know, I'm saying squee because I get a plus zero to perception, so... Oh, hold on, wrong button. It's okay. <laughs> oh, man. So... I'm not perceptive. So... None of you really noticed too much, except for Zephyrith. Having Zephyrus, having hear, having heard something coming from this area before, you kind of know what you're listening for, and you do from the north hear what sounds like very kind of groggy style footsteps. They're they're sluggish and slow, but they but they are there, and it's coming your way. Uh, just with his voice lowered, uh, Zephyrus will say, Well, it appears that something knows that we're here and is on its way towards us. Do we rise to meet it, or do we keep going away? I point to whichever direction the way is <laughs> very eagerly. The rest of you? Whatever you Rubles decide. Hallelujah. Rubles, uh, Rubles draws, draws a sword and goes, Well, if it's coming to meet us, might as well meet it off at the pass. And Rubles will kind of get over here and kind of crouch down. Okay. If you're going to crouch there, roll me a stealth check to hide. That's a 34. 30 freaking four. <laughs> I don't know. I might be a little hidden. I that... love pass by the trace. Yes. I don't know. I might be hidden. No, no. I think it sees me. Definitely sees me. You have become me. one with the wall. <laughs> yes, you you are. You are Rubles the Rubble. Like, <laughs> that is what you is Rubles right now. Rubles here right now. So... It's just freaking Rubles ain't here right now, man. For, for a reminder for you guys, you were informed that everything in this cave is blind and goes off of what you would assume is hearing. So running isn't the only option here, and that's all I want to remind you guys of. Um, I, I, I just rolled my eyes thinking, well, if you insist, then I'll hide behind the wall on this end. Okay, another stealth check, please, from you. Try and, like, s make myself nice and snug to it, and natural one. Here we go, baby. Don't say that. Hell yeah! Hello, fellow 34. Because that's another 34. Hello, another 34. With a nat 20. Um, Zephyrus and Min, what are you two doing? 
Uh, Zephyrus is going to move forward uh, to where the light is just so that everyone... So it, it's coming towards us, right? Yep. So, yeah, I'm going to move so that way everybody is just within the light, uh, but not... How does the light go? Okay, so I'm gonna go here. Uh, um, sorry, I, I know, I know that it, it cuts there. Okay, um, and since it's coming towards us, uh, I'm actually going to cast Minor Illusion uh, as a cantrip, and I am going to sort of crouch down because I can create a five by five um, uh, image. Uh, I'm going to cast it essentially on myself to make myself look like a rock. <laughs> You're just a glowing, are you a, glowing are, are, rock. Are you a mimic? <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> glowing, glowing rock. I love it. Um, okay, great. Uh, and Min, what are you doing? There's a glowing it's rock that is hiding. It's, it's not it's false. Bad. It's a rock. It's a, <laughs> very interesting. I'm just going to kind of move over here very carefully and uh just hide under his legs you're small enough <laughs> Rubel is crouched i don't recommend it <laughs> i mean you could crouch <laughs> get hit in the face with something i'm smaller but yeah i'm just gonna stand there very carefully okay uh roll me a stealth check oh meow oh meow you still have Remember, you do have turn. blessing of the trickster, so it's just a normal roll. You don't roll at disadvantage. Yeah, so we'll there take you go, it. What, we'll take whatever the first one is. So you have nineteen. That's a great roll. Uh, plus plus 10. um ten twenty nine. So twenty nine. <laughs> uh, and Zephyrus, I need a uh, a stealth roll from you. You're being so creative. I'm giving you advantage, even though these things don't rely on sight, as I've said before. But I love your idea, so please roll with advantage. <laughs> it's hard not to. Yeah. <laughs> all righty, so that's 28. Great, so you all feel really confident in your hiding abilities, the rock, the the rubles of rubbles, standing next to rubles of rubbles, and then standing in the corner, probably with your, I like to picture you with like your wings folded around you and you're kind of like playing peekaboo with your wings. Like you can't see me. Um, and as, <laughs> as, as you guys stay in that corner, the footsteps start to get louder and louder and you hear them coming down the hall. Thud, thud, thud. There's a lot of weight behind these footsteps. And as you're peeking around, looking into the light and holding your breath, you see feet start to come into the view of the light. And dripping from very high up looks what what looks like blood. As a giant ghoul starts to make its way through. Its foot barely misses the rock that is Zephyrus right now as it stomps its way through the cave bypassing everybody whoops and disappearing down the hallway in the direction that you guys came Rubles just looks at the thing and just in his mind oh fuck <laughs> hold back Max's heart attack and sudden need to pass out. Uh, he will very slowly exit his peekaboo form. <laughs> very quietly. His peekaboo form! His peekaboo form. It's... Yeah, he's using his wings as peekaboo. Jeebus. I, I am just like drenched in cold sweat at this point. It's like the guy in airplane was just covered in way too much sweat. And every time you come back, he's covered in more sweat. <laughs> Do me a favor, Zephyrus, why don't you roll me a percentile dice? I have no idea what you mean by that. Oh, uh, roll me a D100. D100? So if you hover over the dice on the left-hand side, one of the options is a D100. Um, 49. You, as the thing was going over you, it was munching on something. You're not exactly sure what it was. It was causing blood to leak 
from it and fall down to its feet. It's stomping and carrying blood along uh, with it, not really caring, obviously not judging it, its own appearance at all in any way, shape, or form. Um, and as it hits the as it hits the ground, you you get a splash of blood on you. The blood did not hit you; it hit the ground beside you, and got a little bit on your clothes. Gross. Tis gross indeed, but you are alive. I I uh, gag a little bit, but I <laughs> stop myself from throwing up. All right, well, since two monsters, what would you like to do? I I just like it very very eagerly pointing ahead. <laughs> like let's go, yeah. let's go, let's go. Yep, I agree. Um, and dropping my minor illusion, I'm gonna stand up and uh, sort of signaling with my fingers without saying anything. I'm going to walking forward. Oh no, Minnie! <laughs> oh no. Yeah, She's where did been I go? Swallowed by the darkness. He. It's like fable. Yeah, she's got little legs, guys. She's trying. Hey, don't be wood. I, I'm not being rude. Don't be wood with the little legs. Devin and no, I, I feel that in real life. I, I was pointing out. <laughs> That she's I mean, doing her best. <laughs> I also have little legs in real life, but I, I am often the person that runs after someone going, don't go so fast, I got small legs. That's me. Yeah, trust me, trust me. Uh, coming from someone that's tall, it's not all it's cracked up to be. Sometimes it sucks. <laughs> that is fair. I had a nickel for every time I knocked my head on something from standing up too quick. Right? Oh, I don't know. Every time I'd work in a basement, I would bang my head on something, either like a vent or a door or sometimes a brick wall, which is always great. So when I was a kid, uh, my dad and I lived in a uh, house where the living room had a really low ceiling, which meant the ceiling fan was about uh, his height. And every time oh, that no. you're a hobbit, he would forget to duck. Not only would he smack oh, into the doorway, no. But he would smack into the seething fan. Ah, oh, that sounds painful. Which, thankfully, it was off, like, 95% of the time. Did he ever hit it when it was on? Not that I'm aware of. So at least there's that. R Rubles kind of stops for a second and is surveying and just kind of thinks to him. And he, um, since men, you're right next to him, he would go, he would get, like, right to your ear and just go, that was a really, really big room. Was it not? Hey, it's kind of. I think, I don't know, everything's uh, a bit larger in appearance to me. <laughs> I'm small. <laughs> oh, don't just discriminate small people. <laughs> I'm glad my shortness is amusing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's relatable. It is, though. It really is. Please, now you tall fuck. <laughs> my my stepmother is all of like five foot even, and she def, legit like def. has a a little step stool. Oh oh god, slow in down. The house. <laughs> <laughs> Zephyrus is just so... making laps around the room, being a jerk. He's like, wee. <laughs> I can't little legs. Uh, uh, <laughs> here we go. Oh, I should probably go back a little bit. Alrighty, and as you guys enter into into this area that you're exiting out of, it is a large, just catacomb. It seems fairly empty, so you're not quite sure what that thing was chewing on. Um, uh, that was walking by. But yeah, it just seems like a large, empty room. Some questions are best left unanswered.
And as you guys get to get to this area and continue east, because I know my directions. <laughs> <laughs> as you guys continue, as you guys continue east, uh, anybody who would like to, they can roll me a perception check okay. or min. Because uh, you're being so diligent about it, if you'd like to roll me an investigation check, you're welcome to as well. Yeah. Hell good? yeah! You are on your toes. Oh, oh! There's your natural oh, one. That oh. is poetic there's, justice. There's your natural <laughs> one. <laughs> That's a persuasion. Oh, uh, you you hit the wrong one. <laughs> oh, oh no! How terrible! Uh, you're right. That is better. 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 Certainly better. Alrighty. Better. Better. <laughs> better. Better. Have group, a Snickers. Uh, group consensus. Of, <laughs> are you feeling better? Have a Snickers. So we'll start with we'll start with Min. Min, it's it's a little yeah. hard to tell the type of foot patterns that have come through here. You see the obvious giant feet as you pass by of the thing that you guys barely uh, barely were able to avoid. Um, but it's kind of hard to tell what else is here. But there seems to be like a lot of foot traffic, both big and small, through the area. But because of the disruption from the giant guy, it's kind of hard to tell what is fresh and what is not. But there is definitely foot traffic outside of the giant guy and the dragon. Uh, <laughs> Perception-wise, Maxwell, um, you're just kind of hearing the cave at this point. Um, the noise from the uh, from the giant ghoul seems to have uh, taken off into the distance and you really can't hear it anymore. Rubles, with your perception you can tell that there is more to this cave that's here some of it is active some of it is not as you saw from the giant a ghoul that went by there is more ahead and it sounds like there's a lot of it uh zephyrus with your second perception natural 20 you mm -hmm. hear the same things that Rubles does, except for you know that the things that are ahead are not awake. So, the, sorry, Rubles, what, he he heard that the, it's the same thing that we just encountered. No, uh, no, he heard that there was a he heard that there was a lot of things uh, coming from uh, coming more east. Um, there's a lot of things there. What you know, on top of that, there's a lot of things there. You know that they're all asleep. All right. Um, <clears throat> and if I'm not mistaken, we're also at a crossroads, aren't we? You are. Uh, so, very quietly, at a at a at a barely a whisper so everyone can hear i'll i'll first of all i'll motion for everyone to gather around me so that way i'm not being my whisper echo uh i'll say oh well, it appears that if we keep going in the direction that we are we're going to come across a large number of sleeping I can only assume hostels, but there are a lot of them. Go south. I think there's a better chance that we might avoid them, but we still don't know where this damned flower is supposed to be. What do you think we should do? I point north. Because with, with my experience in these sort of matters, Typically, something like that would be guarded, or I guess what's the word I'm looking for? I, I my brain's not working tonight. Um, hoarded by a large majority of creatures or people, in my case. So I point north, even though I'm giving the eyes, basically saying that's it, we're dead. <laughs> Rubles uh, will point. Um. Or no, he doesn't even point. He's he'll speak, uh, and he kind of just stays right in the group and goes, "Well, I suppose we keep heading uh, that away and head towards them." I think it does make sense that there would be a, a lot of them guarding it. As 
sort of quiet, we should be fine. And you, Min? Uh, yes, we should, we should keep, you know, going forward. Brace yourselves. Spectacular. Sucking in a breath of air, uh, Zephyrus arches forward with the torch. Okay. I, I just whispered to the party real quick. I'm like, by, by the way, uh, did that fine fellow mention an exit plan? Find our own. Uh, Zephyr just gives him a silent, uh, fanged grin and keeps walking. <laughs> I, 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 I just it, it almost cry, but then fake smile just whispered, London. Well, I've discovered I don't like Toblerones. This has been what? a thing. That's, well, that's, a that's like saying you don't like pineapple on pizza. I don't pineapple like on pizza. Pineapple on pizza. Pizza. Thank you. Other people okay, understand you have the monstrosity. Yeah, you have I redeemed yourself pizza. then. But I have never yeah. had a no, no. I just, I'm just not a fan of milk chocolate, and that's what does it for me. I just don't like uh, milk chocolate. So you're They're... not a fan of standard chocolate. Dark the real connoisseur's pizza. palette, though, is Toblerone's on pizza. If you can't <laughs> fuck with that, then... <laughs> on the dessert pizza, yes. Oh, on no. pizza, As you guys I, I, hit here, pal. I need a stealth check right now. Y you got it. <laughs> because you're gonna need it. That's, uh, 31 for me. Uh, is Passport Trace still active? Yes. Passport Trace is 10 okay. hours. Good. No, it's one hour. Is it one, one hour? hour. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's I'm pretty sure it's one hour. Where did I see it as, Where did I see it as ten hours? I'm sorry. I do, I, I I do not to... I do not know, but I wish it was. That'd be Okay, nice. on D D Beyond it says it's one hour. Yeah, okay. That'd be there, nice there's though. something you can lie. get. You there there's something you can do to extend it. I don't remember what it is. There's something you can do though. Extend and because I Yes, thank you. That's what I that's what but, I was thinking of. But that doubles the duration, doesn't get to ten hours. Anyways, I got a dirty no, like 20, 20 ten plus ten. Yeah. Okay. Keep keep going and I'll Zephyrus, narrate something. No. <laughs> yeah, Zephyrus y'all, so, so sorry as, about that. As Zephyrus takes a step forward, please do. <laughs> he trips over a rock. And Rubles, with your 31, you lurch forward and grab him and the torch, the torch itself, which is behind you. Uh, I give, give it me, give. The torch goes clang, 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 <laughs> and lands right there. Does it wake up the creatures at all? Does it? <laughs> Rubles, I know you can't motherfuck. I know you can't see, <laughs> but he is giving you the finger the dead eye. No, the dead eye right now. I, I, His I dead eye's glowing. I, I don't hesitate, but I give him a dead eye and my wings even uh flip him off <laughs> if that's possible. So the good news is they don't wake up. The bad news is they are movers in their sleep. So this one. Does anyone have telekinesis? Moves here. <laughs> this one rolls over and takes his spot. This one flops here. And this one flops here. Ephraim uh, <clears throat> is going to take a second, clear his mind, and cast Mage Hand and grab that beach. And, before you do. And lift it up over their heads. Before you do, I very hesitantly give you a wink and give you guidance. Awesome, because I do want you to roll me a sleight of hand. Yep, so add right. a d4 to that. 
I was making sure I was grabbing the right token. <laughs> Didn't want to grab somebody else's for when I'm moving. Yeah, grab a goblin. <laughs> uh, so you said a d4? Yeah, add a d4 to that, please, for the love of God. A fecker! <laughs> Uh, could be worse. Could be worse. I'm just gonna point this out. He and I live in the same house, and I heard him exclamate, and then I heard him do the do the do the audio slip. Fucker! Really fucker! 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 <laughs> so. Fucker! Fucker! So you see that the torch gets picked up, and it kind of jostles. <laughs> it jostles over the um over the goblins, and kind of floats around as the mage hand keeps trying to grab it. But eventually, it makes its way back to Zephyr. <laughs> Continuing my glare at Zephyr, I then slowly look back to see what lies ahead. I would like to make another perception check to get a gaze at these strange creatures. Hopefully, as the torch was floating around. Okay. Alrighty. Ooh, nice roll. 17. May I also roll perception? Sure. Okay. 22. All right. Min, would you like to roll perception suppose, as well, or are I, you I, I suppose I might as well. Yeah. I'll all try. Of, I'll all roll. of you can, for sure. You can do I'll it. Do my, I'll do my best. <laughs> Feckin' A. <laughs> my best Zephyrus, I think you... I think you killed your rolls with those two nat 20s, bud. <laughs> I know. I, I fucked up all my probability. So that's all right. <laughs> so the good so the good news is is that Zephyrus is so focused on his mage hand and not letting it fall and clunk any of these things in the head. He he's not really looking at anything else and that's probably where you want his attention to be. So that's fine. Uh Min's trying to focus on keeping her armor quiet. So, she, so he's holding he's holding uh he's holding all of his chains together and probably waddling behind you all. Uh <laughs> Maxwell, you were able to make out kind of discernible features of the ones, um, uh, of the ones that were the four that were specifically highlighted by the, uh, by the light. Um, these look like goblins. However, Rubles, <laughs> with your twenty-two, because you're killing on your perception rolls tonight. Uh, as the torch was moving around and kind of lighting up the area, there is way more there, and there is definitely a giant one in there somewhere. Could I make a history check? I, I just want to see if this is like uh, Duchess of Dragon's lore. <laughs> uh, if goblins still hold a high amount of respect or fear of drow elves. Just have morbid curiosity. I'm a, a I'm, I have moon elf descent, so I mean, I might be able to convince them if worse comes to worse. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, that's a five. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, you. I you would. Know. Can. Uh, I'm just. Could I roll? Yeah. Could I roll having the moon elf descent to know this possibly? I would ask you, based on your history of that character, do you honestly think that it would be something that would be within his knowledge because of his history and the background of his family? His his father... So his mother died when he was born, so he never met his mom. So his dad's the one who taught him everything. His dad was a moon elf. And in honest to God, would have taught him about his heritage. But, because that's kind of a duty of all fathers to teach the son about their heritage of their species and everything. I guess my more particular question would be, would he have the knowledge of goblins based off of where he lived? Based off of goblins? Yeah, because these are goblins. I, I'm trying to think of the original rubles would have... It, the original rubles worked two other jobs, not at the North Pole, that was made canon. So he probably would have ran into them and learn, and possibly learn. If you want me to roll a percentile die for this, I will. Because, honest to God, I can't say yes or no to that question, because it's a toss-up of uh, of the original Ruble's other two jobs, whether he encountered them and learned of that. Okay, let's let's leave it to fate. Roll me a percentile dice. Okay. 58. 
would I that would be a yes? I would say that he has encountered goblins, but it's never been a, uh, a situation where he would be asking for like a level of respect. Because I know it personally knowing that character because I ran for it. Uh, I would say he probably didn't do more frontline work. It was probably grunt work. Would you agree? He was Santa's um, first and first guard. Like he guarded Santa himself. That's how we made it, right? Yes, but uh, I'm referring to the other jobs. Would you say he did more grunt work, or would you say he did more frontline work? Other jobs? Um, he never said what he did. <laughs> so again, I really don't know. So I'll it's, give you again. A it would, would have been give a, you a toss history up. roll at disadvantage. Disadvantage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I give him guidance? Uh, can you justify why you're giving him guidance? No, so never mind. <laughs> well, wait, isn't guidance just... you just give it? Yeah, I just give it, but I need a reason for giving it. I'm not really sure what you're up to, so... True, okay, yep. Sense. Whereas when he grabbed the torch, I knew exactly what he was doing. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I didn't I didn't know how guidance worked. I've never played a cleric. So yeah, I, it's a cantrip. I it's pretty useful. Don't know. It's a like very useful yeah. cantrip. But outside it, in that, of combat. Yeah, in that same sense, it's one of those things where you would kinda have to have an understanding of what somebody's doing to give them guidance. Yeah, that wouldn't have helped anyways. <laughs> yeah. So Rubles with, has never sorry. met any other clerics. So you're like <laughs> you guys are the first party he's met. Um aside I'm from not, another gunsmith. I am Far from a typical cleric, too. Yeah. Min In his Jesus. mind, you're a typical cleric. So all clerics he meets, he's gonna think are like you now. Yeah, I hope he yes. doesn't meet Anastasia next. <laughs> so, like, um, uh, sorry. So with a na so with a natural one, unfortunately, you you don't know anything. Your father has probably met him at uh, met some at some point or another, but it's never been something that was brought to his attention because he was, you know after being treated unfairly in working for St. Nicholas by not getting paid, he tried to treat each other, uh, everyone he met as fairly as, uh, as he wanted to be treated as well. So there was never a, uh, there was never a feeling of hierarchy, uh, with your father where he felt like he had to enforce anything other than, you know, be a good person. So, so if he ever encountered a goblin and the goblin treated him with a higher higher respect, he would just think it was just being respectful and he would return that. So. Okay, I just sent you his backstory, uh, so you can kind of see the rest. <laughs> um, so that you know, because I just realized I never sent you any of that. Oops. <laughs> Okay. Just because I think that makes that that's what I've written out so far. There's a little more I have in my head, but I haven't put it into words yet. Yeah, I would say based off of knowing Ruble Senior, having him been in my game, he would have treated everybody with respect. So as soon as he was given respect, whether it was because of ancestry or otherwise, he would have turned around and treated them with respect. It wouldn't have been something that he would initially recognize well, as uh, because hold, I'm better. Sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, but uh, Rubles would convey to the party that there is probably a big mofo in there. And you guys got really close, so I need you all to roll me stealth checks. Don't forget about Pass Without Trace. Yeah, that's still on, right? Just to make sure. Yep. Alright, good. Uh, 24 for me. Man, only a 27. Oh man! Don't sit there, be grumpy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we'll have Min roll when he gets back. So as you guys are going again, Zephyrus starts to kind of tumble a little bit. And both of you, at the same time, reach forward and grab each one of his shoulders and straighten him back up. He doesn't lose the torch this time, thank goodness. But um, he gets really close to stepping on one of the sleeping goblins. Hmm. Uh, 
I, I, I'm just like shaking my head like these are what these bastards look like up close because I live in a noble family. Nobles love to pillage and kill goblins. Mm -hmm. They're rolling I around know. and snoring on the ground. Some are drooling. Uh, I, I had no a clue. Bit of drool and I'm like, I, I had no clue what to do for Ruble's backstory because there's not really one where it says, hey, you work to the North Pole. There's not one that says that. So I put him as noble temporarily until I can figure out a better one to officially put him as. Uh, here, <laughs> Welcome back. Roll me stealth. Roll me stealth, cause you might die. <laughs> Welcome back. Roll for your survival, please. That, cause that's not frightening. Twenty-eight. Great uh, roll. Yep. Sweet. Sweet. Oh, Just you can take. The yeah, that's the right. You can start moving your character again. Sorry, <laughs> I've I've been moving your character. Oh, I appreciate it. Don't don't leave him yeah. in the dark for sure. <clears throat> Peace. Why not? Peace. That's fun. As you guys move as you guys move around the people, I need another stealth check from you because you guys are very close. <gasps> uh oh. Oh no. <gasps> oh no. I don't like the sound of that gasp. Oh no. Yeah, I felt that one coming. Oh, oh no. I, I um, knew I'm like, it's a matter of time before I get it. And it's I, gonna oh, be no. me who hits it too. Oh, I no. will give because of your guys' roles, I will give Zephyrus and Maxwell dexterity saving throws to grab Ruble before he falls. Because he's oh. going to fall directly into uh, into a sleeping goblin. Hey! hey let's go! Dirty 20! <laughs> so... Freaking great, Mike. So you both jerk forward to grab a hold of Ruble. Zephyrus, you, like grab, you grab a grab. piece of uh, piece of his clothing and try to give him a yank. Unfortunately, there's no give, and he's still falling. He gets almost eye level with the drooling, ugly, wart-covered face of the goblin. And now it's just bowling. Maxwell jumps forward and wraps his wings around you and pulls you back and pulls you up into his chest, and you both just stare down at the goblin. Everybody freezes. There is not a single sound until that goblin farts. And you know you're fine. <laughs> Rubles is pale in the face, and you just see like these purple lines under his dead eye, which is his moon elf descent showing. <laughs> it scared him so bad it showed, and he's just like, <laughs> right. <laughs> like the silent internal scream. Nothing comes out like audibly, but just internally, he's just. <laughs> Frighten. <laughs> I'm in the darkness. Thank you. Boop, got you. <laughs> I imagine yep. you guys are all like holding hands. Yeah, I mean, like, none now. of us have strength beaters, so unfortunately we can't <laughs> lift you. Rubles is walking with his shield pointed towards the goblins, just. Oh, there's Big Boy. There's Big Papa. There's I knew big he existed. Chungus. There he is. I was going to describe how I imagine Min would be holding his armor, and the only way I think I could describe it is like when you have to run really fast, but you have boobs. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's not where I, mean, I, yeah, no, I get that, that was going. That's basically how he would be clutching his armor as we're trying to tiptoe around these very I, 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 goblins. I kind of poke you and point forward, like, point out the fact that this is a dead end. <laughs> oh, There's meal. way too many for us to just say, screw it, as they're fighting. Um, oh, meal. I think we need to maybe go back oh frightened i nod I, very enthusiastically so i i got one of two options here from what i'm seeing we either hightail it the fuck back or we go or we attempt to not wake one up going through here wait hold on go through here go down here hopefully there's nothing there hmm. and boobly boop somewhere uh, 
I question, uh, question real quick. How quietly can I fly? That depends on how good your stealth roll is. Will I get, like, any disadvantages for flying, is my question? The, the cave is pretty high, considering everything that is okay. in there. However, with, like, a, like I prefaced before, with how silent the cave itself is, there is a possibility that you will roll with some form of disadvantage. I think she's telling you you're gonna roll with disadvantage. All right. I, I don't know, but just maybe. Because we're meta gaming here, I can cast blessing of the trickster on myself, and I and could potentially And give it away fly. from the and give it away from the person who is already rolling with disadvantage. I, I give it back once I come back. Uh, yeah, uh, Zephyrus is going to just like make a cutting motion at his throat and the finger up to his lips and then mime passing the torch down the line he's gonna hand it to uh rubles and indicate him passing it to uh maxwell and then passing it to uh Minyaris, and we're gonna get the fuck out of here but very carefully yeah. Ru rubles is down for that um here i i have a very simple solution for this squee that was my solution <laughs> All right, continuing to, s I roll my eyes and I ah. continue to sneak by, thinking we're probably gonna die. <laughs> you know, actually, if worse came to worse, I do have like a last dish effort plan. Me too. For, like, <laughs> well, obviously you do. You have two wings. <laughs> that, not just wings. I have clones. Oh, nice. Uh, buddy. Wood. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down there. Buddy. As you guys get there, everybody please roll me another stealth check. Oh, meow. Oh, meow. Oh, meow. 31. There we go, Rubles. That's better. Right. That is a, a natural. Is that a natural 20? No. That's a, that's a 30 no, it's for, a dirty. for men. 32. 32 and 24. Yeah, you guys are fine. No no more tripping, no more falling. More <laughs> more farting coming from the circle of goblins. Oh, I thought you said it was coming from us. <laughs> I, I will say there's the silent but deadly ones, so you got to be careful about this. Because I hold my breath. Rubles, Rubles wouldn't have taken the chance. Um before they came to the cave, like when they were entering, he would have loaded his gun then. Um, because he doesn't think he will have to use it, but on the off chance, he is not going to have that not loaded. Okay. I appreciate knowing that you did not bring a loaded gun into Delric's shop. It's nice <laughs> knowledge to have. I, I, st I stated that it wasn't unloaded. That it wasn't unloaded? Okay. That it was unloaded, because yeah. um, I was polishing it, and then he goes, <laughs> and then, um, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I forgot, Maxwell, hey, watch where you're pointing that, and I said, don't worry, it's not even loaded. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said thank so you for not lying. bringing a loaded gun into Delric's shop. Alrighty, I need you guys to make me one more stealth check. Yep. 26. 25. 25. <laughs> four. 4. <laughs> 14. 14. Like, you have passed or trace. Uh, yeah, 14. Uh, again, Zephyrus does stumble, trips over a rock, but he bounces between the three of you, and he's fine. We just catch him all at once. <laughs> yeah, y'all y'all just hold your hands up together in just, like, one, like, group motion to hold him together, and it's kind of like that Three Stooges moment, and you all freeze and turn <laughs> your attention to... Um, you all freeze and turn your attention to the group, wondering if if any of that additional sound has caused it, has caused any additional effect, and you just hear a big <laughs> from the middle of the group, and you're pretty sure that was from the big guy. <laughs> it's like I'm wearing a gas mask right now, just trying to hold my breath and simultaneously be quiet as much as possible. <laughs> it uh, isn't affecting Rubles is all. He had to clean out the reindeer stalls a few times. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's probably like home. Nothing. So Z Zephyrus is going to uh, extend his hand out to uh, Min in silent asking for the torch. 
And as soon as I, yeah, sorry, I had to move myself so I could move it. And I'm going to step over here and I'm going to cast Mage Hand to move it. Uh, I think I can move it 30 feet. 30 feet. Uh, yeah, so even though it's going to put us in darkness, we'll at least be able to see what, what is, ahead. yeah, what is ahead. If I can just grab the torch and not me. So <laughs> one, two, so three, You can get four. to about here. Right here. Okay. Uh, and I'll kind of bob it around here, see if there's anything. Looks like there's an exit around this way. Or at least another way to go. So then I'm it'll like float so. back into my hand, and uh, silently I'll sort of gesture uh, that I think we should keep moving east. Hurry, 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 hurry. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Yeah. Can you tell I uh, failed uh, geography class? I almost thought East meant the way we came. <laughs> okay. I'm not I, 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 good directions either. I only know East from West from my time living in Eastern Europe and knowing the <laughs> difference between Eastern Europe and Western Europe. <laughs> oh, come on. That's the easy way out. <laughs> when, when, when I was little... Yeah, no. When I was little, I studied maps for fun. By force. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I just studied maps for fun, so I just kind of learned them by heart. We'll make them learn our peaceful ways by force. <laughs> boom boom. As you guys dun, start dun, down this dun, hallway, sir. um, why don't you all roll me a perception check? Gladly. Yeah. Uh, wait, this, uh, this turn off the trees. I got 18. 17. 10. I got uh, 11. Great. So One upping uh, me stuff first. I get it. So, <laughs> so uh, Min, uh, everything kind of feels fine. You're still hearing kind of like the rumble from behind you of the, um, <coughs> of the sleeping goblins. Uh, Maxwell, kind of same thing. Uh, Rubles and, and Zephyrus, uh, you guys still hear the rumble behind you and the very obnoxious farting that that in gigantic group of goblins are doing but from ahead of you you hear what sounds like water and the um and the cave is starting to feel more damp and more wet what could potentially mean life that could potentially mean plant life R rubles kind of um <laughs> leans over to zephyrus goes you know, if it was any, if it was a little cold and this was ice and snow, it'd be just like home. Well, didn't the smell of feces smell like home as well? Perhaps for yeah. you. That was the. <laughs> I lived in a household far grander than this cave. Thank you very much. Ruble stops very, very, very quiet. No, I, I, I just, I just say, say no offense, I. Rubles. I just say no offense, Rubles. Oh, none taken. Battle the nobles. <laughs> Rubles, I, 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 I don't. They hated each other. <laughs> I I don't know what other what other background really suited him. Like uh, other than noble. Outlander. Well, no, because because he was with he was with um all the elves and stuff like that, so it wouldn't have been Outlander. Wait, it, it wouldn't be a noble if it's with the elves. It'd be a noble. I don't know. Wait, like Santa I said, it, like I searched all of them. I'm just like, hmm. well, he he worked, <laughs> he, he worked along. He he worked alongside Santa. Yes, but that's not the point. Then DM. <laughs> hmm. As you guys enter into this area, you notice that there is, there is in fact, vegetation here. There are some trees. There are, um, there are an array of plant life. They're all the same um, around the water, though. But the water itself is giving off a, a white glow. Is there any mistletoe? Uh, roll for mistletoe? <laughs> Oh, oh was no. legitimately. Was that perception? Roll me a d100. 
Is Rubles actively looking for mistletoe? <laughs> No, 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 no. It's just one plant. It's one of the few plants he'd actually recognize. He's from the North Bloody Pole. He has no clue yes, what else would be. That's why he's looking for a mistletoe. Unfortunately. We're all dudes here. He's not gay. <laughs> unfortunately, there is no mistletoe here. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> sadness. So as you guys approach, as you guys approach the water, you do notice that, like I said, there's, there's trees. Um, there's vegetation uh, that's growing around the water, but there is a white glow that's coming from down inside the water. And DM, we'd be far enough away from the goblins that they would not be able to hear us if we were talking at a normal level, yeah? Yes. You feel very comfortable right. that the deep sleepers up there, you would be fine. Well, I, if I remember correctly, that, um, little shopkeeper told us that the flower we're looking for also emits a white glow, so I imagine that we're on the right track. Um, could I take a cl closer look to the water and see if there's anything strange within it, so to speak? Like anything moving around, any sort of like vegetation, basically any movement in the water. Yes, sir. Alrighty. <laughs> it's gillyweed! <laughs> <laughs> 15. So uh, I was more so thinking Lord of the Rings. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to give you guys a little bit more light off the plant. I think that did it. Maybe. What are you talking about? Sorry, the water. What? Did it get a little mm. brighter for you guys? I, I wasn't sorry, paying enough attention. I'm sorry. I mean, I can see it. It hasn't really increased in brightness. Well, I was just seeing if, the aura, if the aura got bigger. No, it, is... it did oh, not. Uh, I don't try. believe so. Let's try this. Hold on. The? There we go. Yes. It's got a little bigger. Awesome. There we go. Do I notice anything in the water? Uh, You don't notice anything hostile. As a matter of fact, it looks like nothing lives within this water. Um... If anybody else would like to roll a perception check, though. Oh, there it is. There's the bad one. Got him. Ooh, there it is. Come on, oh, Lord. there it is. I mean, Wait, hey, does the pack? Or... I didn't realize the explorer pack came with a shovel. Does it? Wait, hold on. So as sorry, I'm talking to myself. As uh. As Maxwell's looking through the waters at first, you come up beside him, and you both are kind of observing together, and you spot the same thing at the same time and kind of look at each other with a sense of uh, recognition. Underneath the water, it looks like there is a... Oh, gosh, I always get the wording wrong. There's a natural cavern um, down in the water. Grotto? Is it a grotto? An underwater cave? More or less, but there's a there's a passage that you have to take to get there. Hmm. Oh, I don't know what the why do I have that. a feeling that the flower is in there? Rubles, um. Why can why can it just be a lovely stroll for the woods one time? Why do we always have to go through months of shit to get what you need in this world? You know, uh, it's not too difficult, but hey, bunnies. R Rubles, um. T takes his gun and will unload it and he puts the bullets back into he's got like a couple Try containers in his bag no he he unloads it oh i thought you meant <laughs> unload as in fire away <laughs> no 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 Blasting no no no, no. Pew, 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 pew. he puts those in there and then okay. um <sighs> okay dm <laughs> this is kind of metagaming what i'm gonna ask you but this is a legitimate question. Once we get through this water, are we going to be able to come back and leave through this cave? Or are we going to leave through there? Because if we leave through there, I'm going to have to go buy more bullets because he's going to leave his bullets on the bank here. Because if those get wet and the gunpowder gets wet, those bullets are useless. You, uh, you have a strong feeling in your gut that if you were to return you would have different points of exit so you could come back and go out this way. Okay. 
All right. I just wanted to make sure. I'm like, Ugh, I, I don't want to risk it, but if we're not going to be able to come back here, I'm going to have to I'll have to bring him with me and risk it. Uh, but yeah, and he sets um, uh, five cases of ten bullets down um, on the bank. Okay. And just kind of, and just kind of looks at it and goes, "I'll be back for you." If only I took water breathing. Mm -hmm. Am I gonna drown if I try to swim with uh, my heavy armor? It won't be a good idea. <laughs> Rubles is behind. Uh, heavy and just, armor and water is not a good mix. Rubles just goes, "Let me try." Um, and Rubles will just kind of. Hop in. <laughs> I I just do the uh, Godspeed symbol, like the, uh, like shape of a cross on your chest. <laughs> yeah, Rubles takes about the deepest breath he can. I don't know what determines how long you can hold your breath. I think it's Constitution. Is that correct? It is. Uh, what what is it per modifier? Um, I will look that up. Okay. Um, uh, while I'm looking that up, is there anything else any uh, anybody else would like to do? Uh, Zephyrus is just going to sort of chuckle at all of you guys, uh, and with a flourish, flourish of his hand, he is going to cast Alter Self uh, as a second level spell, uh, and he's going to take a aquatic adaptation which means you adapt your body to an aquatic environment, sprouting gills and growing webbing between your fingers. You can breathe underwater and gain a swimming speed equal to your walking speed. Awesome. So, nice. And then I'm going to dive into the water. Are you taking the torch with you? Uh, I will leave the lit torch behind, but I will take the other torches with me. In the bag of holding? Yes. Okay. I was about to say, please tell me in the bag, please. <laughs> in the bag of holding, yes. So you jump in the water? Uh, yes, I will. Um, I will jump into the water, and I can breathe because I have magic stuffs. Okay, let me ask you this question before I ask what everybody else is doing. Are you proceeding forward, or are you waiting for your companions? Uh, I'm gonna sort of wait below the water to see what everybody else does. I'm fully ready to to take this next little part solo if necessary. If it if it requires long term underwater uh, uh, capabilities, like I'm ready to do that solo. But I'm also waiting to see if they're able to cobble anything. Together. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Um. Uh. Before. Before we go any further, Min, what are you doing? Um, I, I would like to see what uh you know what what happens <laughs> when uh, people go into this water, you know, I'm kinda uh Rubles, Rubles is treading water, he looks fine. Zephyrus looks, you know, just kinda genuinely like, let's go <laughs> because he can let's breathe and, <laughs> and everybody else is like not breathing water. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Um. They look fine. Uh. I guess. I guess I'm gonna take off my my heavy armor so I can jump into this water as well. Then. Okay. Um. I will say, Rubles. Um. As he's hopping in, in in his mind, so he doesn't say this out loud, but in his mind, he's saying a prayer to his deity, which is Tempest, the god of war. Um, and he's basically asking him uh, just to kind of guide him through this so that he may battle another day. Okay. And Maxwell, what are you doing? Uh, before Min goes into the water, I will cast Guidance on him. I'll just give you a wink and a snap of my fingers. Question, this is probably a little far-fetched, but if I disguise, use Disguise Self to form, say a water genasi or a triton would i gain the physical traits of those races so, a la water breathing or is no. that like a little too far fetched no that's fine basically what okay. you're doing with disguise self is minor illusion on on your whole body i figured i, I just wanted to be sure um yeah um i, I wouldn't comment honest to god you'll get your feathers wet 
and wet feathers equals no fly, and if you need to fly, that's gonna fuck us. So honestly, uh, God, I, 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 I'm also just gonna say, if you need to fly, we're already fucked. <laughs> <laughs> indeed, indeed. Fair ah. point. Fair point. Yeah, indeed. and the sky self is concentration, so that means that would drop past about tree. So I don't want to do that unless I'm guaranteed water breathing. So I'm not. I'm just gonna take a deep breath, question my life choices. Uh. Patman on the back, kneeling down, and <laughs> close my eyes and dive in. <laughs> okay. I'm this... gonna swim normally. Not much else I can do. Okay, so you're all jumping in the water? Plus yes. one constitution. Okay. Let's go, yep. <laughs> uh, Min, what is your constitution? Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. It's 14. 14, nice. great, so you have a plus two. Rubles, what is your constitution? Mine is also 14. Plus two. So we have a plus two, a plus two, and a plus one. So the plus twos have three minutes. The plus one has two minutes. Um, wait. You listed off three. We have two plus twos and one plus one. That's three people. Who's the other one who didn't list it? He has gills. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I got, <laughs> I I, I got, I got them water lungs. He's fine. <laughs> He's fine. My, my brain. Ugh, I'm sorry. This is what sleep deprivation over going on 10 days does to you. Oof. So, yeah. So, insomnia. As you, guys, as you guys Same are here. starting to go down into the water, I want you all to roll me uh, a perception check real fast. And Zephyrus, do you take point? That's a do 91. Do you take point? Do you go first? Uh, yeah, I think especially considering that I'm the only one that can actually breathe underwater, it makes the most sense for me to be the one going first. Roll, roll me your perception with advantage. Okay. Do better than me. Do, 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 do. Better. Hell yeah! Um, Again, one-upping me. So... <laughs> just, <laughs> just barely. So... <laughs> Roll me a nature check, Zephyrus. I cast guidance on one person. <laughs> nice. Seventeen. So, nice. so as as you swim forward, beating your compatriots down a little lower, you see and recognize the plant that is at the bottom of the water. It is not the plant you're looking for but it is a plant that would be incredibly helpful to your allies that you recognize as gillyweed. If they eat this, they will be able to breathe underwater. Oh. <laughs> it is your call on if you use this information or not. All right, I will harvest. It, how much gillyweed is there? There's, we'll just say for the sake of brevity, there is enough for four people to eat the gillyweed. All right, I will harvest uh, enough for four people, uh, and I will uh, swim back up and hand it out amongst the party members. Okay, do you guys take it? Nice. Very hesitantly, I'm yes. like, oh, yes. um, I R Rubles, <laughs> Rubles, like, holds his hand. Uh, explain. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good question. I'd like to know what I'm putting in me before I put it in my... So, es es yeah. essentially, um, I, I'll i swim up to the top uh, of the... I'll, I'll, I'll break the water uh, and just say... I'm sort of holding a gray lump that looks essentially like a bunch of rat tails all sort of tied up together. Um, and I'll say, you might not be familiar, but this is gillyweed. If you eat this, it will better enable you to deal with aquatic environments. That is to say that you will likely grow gills to be able to breathe underwater, and you will also have webbed fingers and toes. Mm, yes, and how will it taste exactly? You would, and, know uh, with, tastes, with, uh, you would know that it tastes absolutely atrocious. 
Yeah, literally, I'm just gonna roll my eyes and dive back underwater. <laughs> All right, uh, I will take out a, a knife and a fork, and I will like very daintily cut off a small piece of the seaweed. Ruby looks it. over <laughs> and just goes, "Brought you wolves," and he takes the entire thing and just takes a huge bite out of it. Does the small follows. portion have any effect? Nope. All right, I I will like just go like one, two, three, and just shove the whole thing in my mouth. And Min, <laughs> yes. do you? Min is going to. Oh. Yes, this he's going to begrudgingly eat the whole thing. Great. As the three of you eat the gillyweed, I need you all to roll me wisdom saving throws, please. Hey. Surprise! I'm too good at it. Do, I, just, uh, uh, I I did not eat the gillyweed because I've already got. This all may or may not be dumb, but like, would the the gillyweed be considered magical? Yes. Okay, because then I have advantage. Yes. Okay, um, sweet. I just wanted to ask: for this to take effect, do we need to pass or fail our saving throw? You'll know when you roll it. Yes. Well, reason being, you yes. can choose the you can choose to fail a saving throw. That's the only reason I'm asking. I'm gonna say because of how disgusting this tastes, you don't get the choice. <laughs> yes. Oh no no no! I'm I'm saying that's rules as written. If you're gonna if you're not gonna go with that, that's fine. Nope, we're I gonna do won't. rule of cool roll. Sixteen. I did. I rolled a twenty-two. Cool. Uh, you guys don't feel it taking effect, and you guys eat the other portion of your of your piece. Roll again with disadvantage. Including me? Yep. This is one time oh, I feet. don't want high. <laughs> was... How do you? Uh, there um, we go. Control is disadvantage. Yep. Oh no. Nine. Oh no. Perfect. Potentially. Oh no. So you all, after eating the first half and realizing that your will is too strong and that you need to have a weak will in order to be able to uh, take hold of this. Um, of this power that it's giving to you, you guys suffer through it more. And uh, with your with your fails on your wisdom saving throws, you guys are able to down the gillyweed, take a take your first breath of water as Zephyrus annoyingly waits for you down at the bottom, because you guys took just looking at so watch. long. Yeah, just <laughs> just I, I'm I'm gonna take like a very long like fake yawn underwater and also look like I'm. Like, I'm examining a watch on my wrist at length. <laughs> and as, as you all smart off to each other and start into the cave, uh, we'll take a we'll take a break. Nice. Take a break. Uh, be back here uh, at the top of the hour. So for here in the Pacific Northwest, that's uh, 9 o'clock for us. Nice. 12 o'clock for me. So say it is midnight for me. Squee. Yep. Right. Oh, you're cool. Canadian too? No, I'm in uh, the States. I'm in Georgia. Uh, uh, I'm in New York. York. What it must be like to be Canadian and have good health care and a government yep, good that takes care of you. That, oh, up, with with that, we are going to we are gonna take a break, YouTube. So we will be back in 15 at the top of the hour. See you soon.
All right, everybody, welcome back. We're gonna join back up with our with our team who have uh, found their way through the water, having eaten some disgusting gillyweed, except for one. He uh, took a different route. Um, and you guys all pop out into this area. This area is uh, is a glow. There's bright light in here because uh, you have reached your final destination. All oh right, wow! It's, it took a it took a second for the map to load me, so I just I literally saw like white blocks. <laughs> like, this and was beautiful. not gonna question it. Like this is beautiful. My lord, how does something like this grow down here? Rubles takes That's a second right. and kind of dries himself off and just kind of I, I looks... do the dog faint where I like shake my uh, <laughs> wetness yeah. off it just pours onto you guys um quick question DM mm -hmm. would mending dry my pistol because it's mending it just in case any damage was done because he would not have left that behind there's no way in hell he would do that but their uh, mending wouldn't dry it precedentation would okay but any damage that could have been caused basically what i'm asking can i stop any damage that could be caused by getting wet now by using mending on it uh Roll me a perception check to see if your gun is damaged. Okay. Um, do I have or advantage being a gun? Do I have advantage being a gunslinger slash gunsmith? I no? would say that your knowledge on guns would allow you to um, would allow you to know if something is wrong with your gun or not. So yes to advantage. I'm sorry, you cut out on my end. Yes. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. Uh, 23. Because of the fact that you have worked with firearms um, for, for so long and being trained by your father, you knew how to store it to prevent damage from happening to your gun. However, it is very wet and any powder that you would have had within it is no good. Yep. And that's why I left the bullets back there. <laughs> yep. So any powder that's on your person is no longer good and any powder that was in your gun is no longer good. Um, this gun does not use powder being a revolver. It actually uses, uh, just bullets with a, sh it's like an actual shell and everything. Okay. You mentioned powder earlier. That is the only reason why I emphasize the powder. Um, oh. so as you guys, as you guys make your way into the room, you guys do notice that the room is a glow with a, with a, uh, just a beautiful kind of gentle white light. And in the center of the room is a pad full of flowers. And some are budding, which are the ones that are producing the most glow, and some are not. Uh, I'd like to make an investigation check. On? On the group of flowers, because I know that the shopkeeper said that the flower we're looking for should glow pink, but it glows white. And I'm Wasn't going to it... see if I can find that. Okay. Wasn't that the opposite? It was, it, it was was the opposite. It was pink a pink flower glows that glows white. Oh. And that one. That that thing. <laughs> so my You're... investigation. Okay. Fifteen. Uh... Uh, these are definitely the, the flowers that you're looking for. <laughs> if you'd like to decipher whether it'd be better to bring him one that is uh, fully bloomed or one that is not, you could roll me a nature check. I will roll you a nature check. Which I think is kind of more what you were going for. Woo! That is brilliant. Oh, um, hell yeah. You would know that a, a plant that is not fully at bloom would have shorter roots for you to dig up. It would actually be probably more convenient for you, uh, for you guys in harvesting if you took one that isn't fully bloomed. Um, however, you do remember that Delric said that he is not a gardener, but should probably get into gardening. So maybe bring him some, bringing him something that is fully bloomed would be a good idea. Um, it is, it is up to you on how you would interpret that. Well, I say that we uh, do our due diligence and dig up one that's ready to go. I hold up my shuffle to you. I say, 
Well, you well, want don't to, let, to be honest. Well, don't let me stand in your way, by all means. No, no, I, please, I insist. You first. Gentlemen first. And uh, I'm going to cast Mage Hand <laughs> uh, to, to start digging it up. Are you using the shovel with Mage Hand, or are you just Mage Handing at the ground? I'm going to use the shovel, but I, I want to make it clear that I'm not... I'm not debasing myself to to do gardener work. I'm I'm going to use a spell to to dig it up with the shovel. <laughs> As Rubles sees this, Rubles walks up, looks doesn't look I at you, around. looks at the mage hand, looks at the mage hand and holds his hand out. May I? Both knock he yourself, has light. Knock yourself out. I I, uh, I hand him. it to him. Rubles gets right down and dirty. <laughs> Rubles gets like down and dirty and starts digging it out. Great. Now, as... see, this gentleman knows how to get his hands dirty. As soon as your shovel hits the ground, the ground underneath all of your feet start to tremble. And giant earthworms pop out of the ground. And guys, I need you to roll me some initiative. Hair. I should have been awesome boys. Frickin some initiative. Give me some initiative. Oh. Ah, uh, it's a I 19 for to, me. I forgot to <laughs> click my thing. Oh, I'll get you. Hey. Okay. That could work. That. <sighs> go ahead and go in and type in your your order for me. Dun 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 dun. dun. Now, is this copyright free music? Yes. This Just is out of curiosity. this is from uh this is specifically from Roll Twenty. Nice. Oh, it's not bad. I should add that one to my playlist. I have to be very careful because I don't know if that new law is, has been passed or not. But now a copyright strike in the states, at least, equals jail time. So I'm yeah. being so I'm like bloody paranoid about it now. I don't know if it got passed or not. I didn't I didn't hear anything more about it. Yeah, it, I think it did, which is yeah. Copyright as BS did as it? is, but oh no, <laughs> I think it did. I could be wrong. I'm a Canadian. Keep that in mind. <laughs> I'm a little bit yeah. more disconnected than you guys are. But I seem to remember somebody mentioning that it was either passed or it's like really close. The game passed. Unfortunate. Yeah. Which is stupid. Copyright is something that should have never existed. But you know, that's just my. Opinion. Alrighty. So let's roll some initiative for these bad boys. Yeah. Nice. It's yeah. like King Kong. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> nice. Real am I gonna, am I They have a seven them? dex. Their dex is a bloody seven. Oh my god. Rubles, well, you're at minus 1.93. <laughs> no, 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 no. If you, uh, the thing on there, which is the, um, point seven, that's their, that's their, the tiebreaker is the actual number. That's how I know. Uh, um, Rubles would have been like right here, wouldn't he have been? Yeah. I didn't move him. Yeah, you would okay. have started right there. Uh, he's going to draw his short sword and his shield, and he's going to run right up to this guy, and he's going to take uh, first attack. Let me make sure nothing's on that shouldn't be. Uh, that's 20 to hit for five. Okay, that hits. You know, five points of slashing damage. I'm going to burn my action surge, and I'm going to hit him again. Okay. Or not. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, he dodges out of the way. His his many um, many little arms like shaking at you as he rears up and bares his teeth. And that's when you get a chance to look at that very disgusting mouth. So this other one is going to move here. Oh, never mind. Go ahead. Uh, Rubles looks back. <laughs> if, it, if it did that, he's gonna look right back at it and flare his dead eye and his uh, Moon Elf heritage. There's just gonna be purple lines that appear under his eye. Very cool. Just aesthetic stuff. Awesome. This one is going to take a stomp here. And because this guy gets multi attack, um, he's gonna take his bite here at Min. You. Is it 24 to hit? Oh yeah, I mean that does that does neededly hit. 
Um, I, I don't know how to how to change this on this um, on this setting, but ignore the uh, ignore the six. That's eleven points of piercing damage. Oof. All right, gotcha. Here we go. Yeah. Yep. And then it's going to take a tail swing at Zephyrus. Again, ignore the nine and the con saves. You guys aren't going to be dealing with that. That's a 14 to hit uh, Zephyrus. Uh, I've got a 14 armor class. Meet to beat. Seven points of piercing damage. You. All right. Yeah, 14 hits. 14 does hit. It is a meet to beat. Oh, gotcha. Uh, okay, so seven points of piercing damage. Okay. Zephyrus, you are up. Um, I am going to cast, uh, give me just one second, um, I am going to cast Hellish Rebuke on it. Wonderful. This Roll me that Hellish Rebuke. That is it. That is a reaction. So as soon as it hits you, you would, that would go off, and then you would get your turn after it. All right. So hellish rebuke. That is beautiful damage. And he takes it all. Hell yeah. Seventeen points of damage. That's stunning. And now, I'd and like now to take my turn. action, please. You betcha. <laughs> and I am going to cast. Uh, Underwave uh, as a first level spell. Brilliant. It's a con save. Con save of 15? Uh, he, Hell he yeah! Eat my ass, bug! Nine, po nine points of thunder damage, and I believe he also gets pushed back, doesn't he? Yeah, he gets pushed back 10 feet away. Okay. To move that over there. Five, ten. Uh, he did move. You, Min, you have an attack of opportunity you can take. And me too, right? Um, you used your reaction. You 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 used no, because this would be the start of his turn. However, yeah, I just, think, that's my reaction was to his attack. How, but he got however, pushed away. however, I think because it is your turn, I don't think you can take a reaction on your turn. Oh, okay. So a reaction is is the pause in between your 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 turns. So that's when you take it. Right. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna say no to that. Um, I will educate myself on that if I'm wrong later on. But for now, I'm gonna say no. However, Min, you do have an attack of opportunity that you can take on it. Um, so question: yes. While it is moving, can I attack it? Like while it is moving, or am I getting that opportunity after it is done? Uh, it's in the process of moving away from you. It's being forced away, so you can take a swipe at it. That's being knocked okay. out. Okay. Because I would like to punch him with my thunder gauntlets. Punch him. So that is the, uh... Do, 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 do. Can he punch? Punch! Oh, punch! Oh, punch. <laughs> yeah. Tell me, so, Min. How do your he's... Thunder Gauntlets work as it takes out this giant centipede? That is a good question. I imagine, uh, as the, the punch lands, like, you would see, uh, thunder... The, well, not thunder. You hear, hear the thunder and see, like, bits of, uh, you know, the lightning for flavor uh, come out of the gauntlet and onto the creature as it, uh, yeah, damages it. I'm so great at describing things. No, that's beautiful. So as the, the thunder <laughs> makes its way out of your gauntlets and hits, joining the thunder wave that is knocking it back, your, the swing of your punch knocks it back uh, with, we'll say... We'll say that you knock it back hard enough between the two of you to make it hit against this wall. It smacks against it, shaking from the adrenaline that both of your attacks have caused it. And it just ends up flopping to the ground, still shaking, still panicking before it starts to dissipate and fall dead. Slumping against the ground and still vibrating. Maxwell, you're up. All right, it's a free action. I'm going to high five Min. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, high five. Thunder kinda, high five. I, I don't I, know. Are I you crouching or am I jumping? <laughs> You're definitely jumping. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not putting that high five down low. You're definitely oh. jumping to get up okay. to it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best. 
brilliant. All right, uh, Maxwell, what are you doing? I try to keep my cool. I'm like, all right, all right, sure. you'll be back in mansion soon enough. Just relax. Take a deep breath. Eyes turn purple. Hold up my right talon, and between my grass, you can see this purple energy begin to form. And basically, what looks like a giant, like Valentine's Day heart in a spiritual form. I grab it in my hand and I chuck it at the centipede. I'm casting Guiding Bolt. Brilliant. Roll me Guiding Bolt damage. Well, attack and damage. Casting this at first level. 18 to hit, and that's 15 radiant damage. That hits. And. 15 radiant damage and the next attack against it has uh, advantage as it begins to glow in this obnoxious pink energy. Perfect. All right, so our lovely, it's our lovely friend's turn. And he is, no, it's not. That one's dead. No? No, that's the right. You're no, the right that one. is the right one. I didn't highlight for me. That's weird. Yeah, so it's our, our lovely Wait. friend's turn who is reared up against um, then rubles and snarled its teeth and wiggled its little arms at him as rubles glares back at him. Uh, and he's going to take his bite attack against you. That's a natural one. So that definitely misses as he leans down to bite you, you sidestep it. This ain't nothing new for you. You've, you've tangled with worse and plus wrangling reindeer. People don't even talk about that. His tail stinger comes in for a 10 to try to hit you. That will miss. My AC is 17. Wonderful. That's the end of turn. Min, caterpillar killer. Yes. <laughs> what are you doing? Min, the almighty caterpillar killer. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, I would like to move just a uh, so five, ten, fifteen. Uh, just because. Um, and at the uh other caterpillar. Um, I'm going to shoot it with my crossbow. All right, give me crossbow shot. Because versatility. 13, does that hit? Unfortunately, that misses. You graze along one of its arms mm -hmm. and injure it, and it, it looks down its she arm. It advantage. looks. You do have advantage. No, no. Sorry, I did mean to interrupt, but. You do have advantage. Well, again. No. Yeah, sorry about that. Ah, it's still a miss. You nick, oh, sad. you nick one of its, you nick one of its many arms, and it, it looks back at its arm, looks a little horrified, turns its attention to you, and the, what you think are eyes, but you're not 100% sure because they are, uh, they are super white, narrow at you. Ooh, Rubles, you're up. Uh, I'm just gonna take a swing at this thing. Take the swing. Oh, Natural one. That's a miss. Unfortunately, as you dodge nimbly out of its way, it dodges somewhat nimbly at you out of your way. But it looks like it's it's got its eyes on its uh, the killer of its friend. It would have been its friend's turn, but its friend is dead. Zephyrus, you're up. Uh, Zephyrus is going to attack this bad boy with a. Uh... <clears throat> I am going to attack it with a another level one thunder wave. Um, that is from self range. That spreads uh, out fifteen. So oh that shit! Is from shit! Self shit! Sorry. That, that spreads is... out fifteen feet. Uh, well then, never mind. I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm actually going to uh. I'm going, so because this guy is so big and bulky, I am going to, I'm going to throw a ice knife to here. Okay. And because it has a ranged effect of five feet, if I throw it at the head, I don't think that it will hit, um, I don't think that it will hit uh, rubles, rubles. So you're going for this section? If we're yeah, I'm going for the head. I'm going for the head, yeah. Okay, got it. Roll me ice knife. Ice knife? 
Ah, uh, Fecker, eight. Ah, uh, look at all your guys' like 20s <laughs> catching up to you. Unfortunately, that does miss. I will roll for the dexterity saving throw uh, for the yeah, two. Yeah, hit or miss the target uh, with it must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or take 2d6 cold damage. Yeah, and you. God, that's. That's two natural ones on your 2d6. But it does take the two ice damage, if that makes you feel any better. It, it does. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, Maxwell, it is your turn. Alright, at this point, I will, like, uh, flutter, uh, flip out my wings, and you see this purple energy go to my tongue, and my turn literally turns into a silver tongue as I yell out the word, FLEE! And I cast command on the centipede. Okay. I would like it to make a wisdom saving throw, please. What is your DC? My DC is 13. 13. Uh, yeah. So, on its turn, it has to use its action to move as far away from me as possible. Okay. And it is its turn, and it will dig into the dirt. That's not what I was hoping for, but all right. <laughs> it's a worm. It is a worm. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Come meow. Min, it's your turn. We, um, so I, uh, would like to prepare an action. Okay. What um, if you... you Yes, if the worm pops up within five feet of me, I would like to punch it with my thunder gauntlets. Yes, punch the worm. Punch yes. Rubles, you're up. Sorry, Rubles is, um... <laughs> Hold an action to swing with short sword. Okay. That one is dead? <laughs> Sorry. No worries, take your Having... time long issues right now. Zephyrus, you are up. Uh, Zephyrus is going to uh, hold a, a firebolt. Okay. For when uh, it appears, I have a range of 120 feet, uh, and I will wait for it to pop up again. Perfect. And uh, Maxwell, what are you doing? I would also like to hold my action by holding, forming another guiding bolt in my hand. Okay. So if it pops out, I'm gonna chuck it right at it. Even though it's probably overkill, it's gross, I'm a noble, I want this gross thing dead. Okay. Uh, let's see. So it's its turn. So it is going to pop up right here. <laughs> uh, all actions go off. All so right. There's Squeeze. the short sword. Roll me punch. Roll me firebolt. And roll me guiding bolt. <laughs> I don't know if anybody is familiar with the, the Persona series, but it just makes me think yes. of... Uh, Yes. Five were like, let's go for an all out attack. Yes. Uh, what was that attack called? Like a baton pass? Something like that? Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Oh, I love it so much. Look at cool, Joker. <laughs> yes. uh, you guys have you guys have no clue how much you're touching my soul right now, but we can discuss it after the game. Um so yeah, <laughs> it, it pops up out of the ground. It's it's writhing, writhing its little legs, its mouth is chomping at the air. It looks like it's about ready to come down on all of you, and you all just whack, 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 and you hit it, and it actually, instead of falling forward, it falls backwards onto its back and lays, uh, takes its final breath as it falls dead. And you guys are officially out of combat. Well done. Oh. Squee! Now, how do we get out of here? Let's start by collecting what we came for. Yes, good idea. Wonderful. <laughs> we can plan our demise later. Splendid. Alrighty, so... 
Perfect. So with uh, with Ruble's uh, help, you guys dig up a. Were you guys going for a fully bloomed plant, or were you guys going for a uh, for like a sapling? Fully bloomed plant. Sounds yeah, like I think fully idea. bloomed. Okay. Deeply. Okay. Make it more worth it. Perfect. So you guys uh, go through and you guys find a fully bloomed plant that still has seeds inside of the pod. Um, and you guys are able to dig it up, collect the roots, and reaching into the bag of holding, you pull out the container that Delwerk has provided you, and you guys gingerly place the flower with the roots still intact and uh, some of the some of the dirt from the um, from the area in which it was growing into the container before you close it back up and put it back into your um, put it back into your pouch. Spectacular. And uh, I'll just turn around and head back towards the water. Me Great. too. Is I'm just shaking my head like, can't wait to get out of this dreadful hole. Bird. Is your, um, uh, is your spell a concentration or do you have it permanently on you for, um, um alter self is, n it is a concentration, so I would have dropped it. Okay. So either you eat the gillyweed that you grabbed or you um or you cast it again. Yeah, I'll eat the gillyweed that I grabbed because I don't want to use up my last second level spell slot. Awesome. Same here. So roll me a uh the gillyweed is going to last an hour, so you guys are good, but I need a con I need a wisdom okay. saving throw from Zephyrus. Okay. Yeah, it's gross. It's gross. You can feel it working. You've done your studies. You know it's working, but oh, God, is it gross. Da, 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 da. Yeah, definitely, definitely up there in the, the worst things that you guys have ever tasted. Uh, so with that, you guys dive under the water and follow back in Wits You Came, which brings you back out here. For the sake of brevity, you guys, this torch is out, but I'm assuming you're lighting another one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> so where do you go from here? Well, of course, this lovely person didn't give us an exit. I'm going to... Um, picks up his bullets. Oh, you yes, are I'm... I'm, I'm... You are putting my armor back on. There you go. Yes, I don't know why I'm so big. I am. I am small. I'm the small. You still have so <laughs> Alrighty. Where do you go from here, guys? Yeah, I'm gonna use Mage Hand to to see what within sixty feet what our uh, walking options are. We came down from here. It looks look like we've got that way. Got a way out that way. We've got a, a north uh, northwest passage, and we've got a southeast passage. I point towards the southeast. Yes, I got a good feeling. I'm Why basically not? just gonna follow whatever you guys are saying. Alrighty. Oh wait, guys. Command was a concentration. Wait, is command concentration? No. I need to double check that. Okay. Sure. Suggestion is the concentration. Yeah. Because if it was, we would have lost past for the trace. <laughs> Stiffy, stop. <laughs> the darkness has consumed me. <laughs> oh, I no. can't find my model. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I got <Thanks>. you. <laughs> You're welcome. There. Much better. Well. We can go down, or we can go to the side. 
I suggest we go down. I agree, I think down is the best op option. Alright. As you guys are traveling down this way, please give me a stealth check. Yum yum. Oh gosh. Oh no. Passive Battle Trace roll my is page. still up, yes. Let's roll my page down. Yeah, Passive Battle Trace is still on Rubles, but Perfect. I rolled a natural one, so that's not going to count for much. For... Clank, clank. <laughs> yes, but you are... Blessing of the Trickster is still on you. He hasn't given it to oh, anybody okay. else. So your 11 yeah. is what you would get, plus the 10, so your 21. Um, so we have a oh, okay. 21, 26, 32, and a natural 1. Uh, Rubles, since mm -hmm. you're close to Maxwell, roll me a dexterity saving throw to try to grab him to prevent him from making any noise. That's... That's enough. So you catch him as he's about to, actually, uh, as he's as he's walking along, he stubs a talon against a rock and goes to scream because it hurts so bad. You slap your hands, you use both hands to cup his beak shut and just stare him straight in the eye. He's like, no, no noise, no. And with that, you guys can continue forward. As you guys move away from the water, you do notice that the cave is no longer as damp, but it's definitely still wet. The trickling of the water sounds echoes behind you as you guys leave, and you reach yet another minimal fork in the road. If I remember correctly, I think that we should probably go to the left if we're heading back in the same direction that we came perception oh, check God. yeah go ahead uh yeah same here i'll make perception check for any potential tracks or signs of any like lights or out 15, outside 15, I, I can't 10. word um Let's see maxwell's 19. got a 19 nice so the the 10 you hear something to viewers left uh so west you hear something west it's kind of hard to make out what it is the 15s uh, there's there's a lot of something west um the 19 there's a left lot or west west same same thing that way thank you thank you arrow that's east that's, oh, you're right. That's... Yeah, you're right. Sorry, I'm tired. That's West. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> it's Dude, like a whole compass. <laughs> I should have just, I should have just been like, here, you guys have a magical compass following you. Do, 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 do. Um, because God knows I need it. <laughs> Thanks, Smart Alec. Much appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> um, so 19, Maxwell, you hear a lot of noises coming from the West. Um, you also hear some noises coming from the South not as many and kind of weird it kind of reminds you of the um kind of reminds you of the pond but it's uh there's two kind of reminds you of the oasis uh, i'm sorry uh, I i'm being dumb so the oasis is what again was that the sorry that um, was the the water area that you found so it sounds like that yeah, but it sounds okay. like there's two of them there's two of them mm -hmm. sounds close to that but there's two well the original teleportation circle was considerably further away if i'm not mistaken perhaps there's another way out what would you like and to I do, do here. i suggest we go south I second that. South it is. As you guys move into this room, this room is surprisingly empty. There is 
Um, there is splotches on the floor. If anybody would like to roll me an investigation check, you might be able to figure out what it is. A uh, fecker. No investigation for you. Only torch. No, no investigation. Only torch. <laughs> Only torch powers. Torch is very pretty. Yes. It's also very useful. Alrighty. So eight. Uh, so eight and ten. Um, it, it's hard to tell. It feels like water against your feet. Twelve. It's a little bit more squishy than than water, but that could honestly be the dirt. Min, with your 16, you actually get down, uh, being the closest one to the ground because you're so short. <laughs> Finger guns. Um, you actually get an opportunity to get kind of a better look at it. And standing next to Zephyr, you have the most light provided to you. Um, you kind of reach down, you run your fingers along it, and it feels kind of squishy. And as you, uh, as you bring your fingers up, it's got kind of a slimy, sticky uh, texture to it. Uh, what this is, is nothing that you've seen in this cave before. So whatever this is, it's new. I think you, uh, cut out at the tail yeah, end there. there. Yeah, you I mean, cut out oh, the end. sorry. Uh, so, so it's got kind of a, a, a squishy kind of slimy texture. And in comparison to everything that you've encountered in the, in the cave thus far, it is not something that you've ran into yet. So this is a new thing. Squishy, slimy, texture, uh, and wet. Yeah, so I would tell to the rest of the group there is squishy, slimy stuff on the ground. All and he's nasty. All the squishy, squish. slimy skeletons. Oh, All the squish. Oh, it's almost as if it couldn't get any worse down here. But... <gasps> I suppose this means there isn't a sun for next to day time soon, is there? But we must carry through. Must carry on, of course, of course. Um, I, I hate to say this outside of character, it is almost one o'clock on my end, and <laughs> I, not only am I getting tired, my parent mother has complained several times about my noise, so I may have to walk out very, very soon. Okay. I, I, Unfortunately. I promise you guys oh, no. are like super close to the end. If you guys make it past basically two other things, you guys will be at the end and then we'll wrap it up. All right. Sorry about that. Yep. No, I, I want to be respectful. <coughs> Pardon me. I want to be respectful of time as well. So I understand. So as the light shines here and Maxwell, you nearly fall into it. Um, there is a, there's a shimmer in front of you as a gelatinous cube shakes in front of you and spins. Brighton. I, yeah. I just say goal. It is goo. You are I just say going to get correct. onto the wall and sneak that way. Okay. Roll me stealth against a gelatinous cube. Oh I god. Mean, it might have blind sense. Uh, oh, butts. Oh, butts. 26. Oh, oh, butts. Oh, oh butts. Major oh, butts. Feet. A 16, a 13, and a 19. Okay. Uh. Min, as. Well, actually, it's a 26, a 16, a 19, and a 13. This, yeah, this is a. So, I'm gonna say. Rubles and Maxwell, roll me stealth min for story's sake. We're gonna put you here. Um, both, sorry, not stealth. Roll me dexterity saving throws to grab your comrades before they fall into the gelatinous cube. Fourteen. Who and who roll stat? Uh, roll uh, rubles. dexterity saving throws. Uh, rubles and Maxwell. They're rolling dex saves to catch you guys before you fall. May into I ask? The <laughs> May I ask why I'm rolling it, seeing as I'm not even next to him? Because <laughs> you're next to Zephyr, who has failed. Zephyrus. Oh, I, I thought it was Min. I thought it was Min, Min who failed. Is... Didn't Min fail? Yeah, Min was also Min. Crit, Min crit failed, and then uh, that's still a low I mean, roll. normal that's a five. fail. That's a normal fail. Zephyr also failed. Okay. Well, 
So the good news is you catch both of them. Min, you you barely get caught. Like your nose is is right next to the gelatinous cube. As soon as he pulls you back, you felt like something was reaching out and you feel a brush of air against the end of your nose, like the gelatinous cube was reaching out to grab you. I have a question. Yeah. How, how does the cube smell? Uh, not as bad as the gillyweed. I'll give it that. Okay. But it not- It smells like gel. <laughs> but, but, but worse than the goblins. Oof. Yeah. That is saying something. I am once again attempting to hold my breath as I carry on. Okay. And I just look to men, kind of like raising my eyebrows, like, "Are you all right?" Yeah, good. He smells bad, or it, or whatever. All right. all right, I kind of pat you on your shoulder and kind of try to motivate you to keep sneaking. However, the ooze identifies. However, the ooze identifies. Yes, it. <laughs> yes, however, the ooze identifies. Oh, is this like the ooze in Futurama? <laughs> so as you're going, as you're as you're making your way around around the tight corner, uh, Maxwell, you'd put it together. You're just circling this thing like a predator to its prey. <laughs> yeah, doing my best to it, anyways. <laughs> so squishy. So oh, squish. squish. Avoid the squish. squish. Squish equals death. And that's no fun. A avoid the squishy Kirby of death. The the stress ball of doom. <laughs> stress ball of doom. Yes. That's a lot better. Alrighty. And kind of putting two and two together that this is a dead end. You guys make your way out into the West Hall. Well, oh, meow. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. You don't know how right you are. As the flame, as you mutter that to your companions around the corner and the magical flame lights up the, lights up the area in front of you seems to be a pile of uh, ghouls. They're all pale white from living in the cavern for as long as they have. Their eyes, as, as some of them turn, uh, to roll their heads to look over in your direction are milky white. However, you do notice that their breathing is steady and calm and resembles that of uh, of the goblins that you saw in the north area of the cavern. These are all fast asleep, but boy, are they terrifying looking. And they're what? They're ghouls? Uh-huh. They're blocking our path again. As, as you both get close, as you all get closer, why don't all of you roll me a perception check? Certainly. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Maxwell and uh, Min, you're you both kind of get that that pause of like, hey, we should go back. And even Rubles, you get that pause for a split second. But as you turn back and look through the darkness, you and Zephyrus realize the same thing. There's a pattern to the way these guys are sleeping, and you might be able to get out if you sidestep all of them. And with that knowledge, if you guys would like, this is the quicker route to do. Um, and you will roll me... Th uh, I didn't actually get a solid number for this. You're going to roll me one, two, three. Roll me f four dex checks of your choice. You could do acrobatics or straight dex. Or I will allow a dex saving throw if you are proficient in it to uh, get across this get across this maze. So each of us roll four? Yeah, so the first set everybody roll me your dex preference, whether it's a saving throw, check or uh, ac acrobatics. Sorry. Okay. I cast guidance on min. Okay. So we got a 12. Well, you only live once. 9. 11. 9. Ecker. Ecker! <laughs> oh my god, Maxwell, calm down. Um, so the first set, 
you got there was a bit of hesitancy before you guys got started luckily they're not all as crammed together as you originally had uh as you originally had thought the would be uh bleh. so you guys were able to make it out and together for the first section you guys make it through so so uh no worries so second set everybody please roll me your preferred dex based check so, do I roll again, or should I keep my second roll? I will punishment? let you roll again. You're too kind. Way kinder than we. <laughs> yes, especially considering. <laughs> so, so yeah, this um, you guys got uh, also lucky through here. Uh, uh, Min, you end up leading the way with uh, Rubles right behind you. Uh, we have Zephyrus uh, bringing up the rear. But you guys were all able to make it to the uh, to the next section. Uh, roll me another one, another set. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Wait, I rolled twice for some reason, even though I clicked once. Becker. You didn't. Wow. You didn't roll twice. The nineteen was Again. your last roll. Again. No, got right. two nat twenties. So <laughs> Mint's practically backflipping through this whole thing, and luckily <laughs> enough, we'll say with the with the acrobatics, you're able to catch um, our your your weighted friend who's just definitely not used to the um not not Nightmare used to fuel. having water all over their um all over their wings was, you're able yeah. to catch them and counterbalance the zero as his nose gets way too close to one of the um uh to one of the brain farts one of the ghouls thank ghouls. you uh, <laughs> to one of the ghouls <laughs> everybody please roll me your final a dexterity check to make it to the other side. Oh, come on. Oh, God. Oh, come on. Oh, God. Fucker. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. So, so good news is, Rubble makes it over. Bad news is, all three of you tumble into some of the ones here on the very end. And as we will comically bring this game to a close, as the three of you who didn't break the 10 DC, <laughs> fall over onto some ghouls, you force them awake, which then wakes up. It's like a wave of heads shooting up, looking in your direction, and just a wave going into the darkness, and you're pretty sure you catch the reflections of those eyes. And as you guys go to turn, Zephyrus, who's been leading you through this whole thing, holding the torch in hand, he goes, run! And you all take off running out of the cave with a horde of ghouls chasing behind you. And you guys make it outside and exhaustingly and and very probably uh, annoyed and probably a little sunblind make it back to potions and lotions where Delric is waiting for you uh, in the lobby area. Oh, my lord. I think you undersold the place, my dear lad, but we have returned. <clears throat> oh, hey, well, welcome back. Did you get the flower? Like Grant said. Uh, we certainly did. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And he will, like, take the bag of holding for you. Uh, shake it, check inside. The three torches are still there. He says, oh, you did, uh, two torches are there. He's like, oh, you did it without using all of them. Good job. Um, and he will reach inside and pull out the flower, and he just looks super, super happy. Well, if we can make it through that hellhole, I'm sure we could come across anything else that comes our way. Oh, good. Good, good, good. He said he slowly sets the plant down on the, um, uh, on the table and uh, pops open the lid and that faint um, <clears throat> that faint glow is still there from from the flower uh, and as we all kind of draw to a close Delric looks up at you with a bright smile and says I'm sure I'll be using your services again and with that that is the end of potions and lotions yay Ruben looks right back the hell you are and he walks out <laughs> Yeah, that's what he oh, I'm kidding. He gets paid. He gets paid first. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, then he I, walks out. He gets well, paid. I'm thinking the same. I, I'm tempted to do the same thing. So I, that's a mood. <laughs> Great. Alrighty. Well, thank you all so much for playing. I know it's late, but I really appreciate you all sticking around. I hope you had a good thank time. You for <laughs>
<laughs> hope you had a good You're time. This is a little bit of a different setup in comparison to what I think uh, others who have played with me typically see. So I hope that it was a good time for you. It was definitely a good time for me. And with that, uh, we will say, uh, everybody say goodbye to YouTube. Bye, Bye YouTube. YouTube. Take care. Bye, YouTube. Happy 